blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Dominion that comes through light, not guesswork. Dominion that comes through understanding. Psalm 82 from verse 5 says, They know not, neither will they understand. And so they grow up in darkness and the earth is out of course. Said, but have I not said ye are gods? Are you following me now? And all of you are children of the most high. He said, but you shall die like mere men and fall like one of these princes. The advantage you have in the kingdom, listen to me. The advantage you have in the kingdom it's not just that you have declared the lordship of Christ over your life, but you have come to a point where you have spiritual understanding. You understand how this system functions. And then the things that used to be a mystery are no longer a mystery to you because you know that there is an operation that governs them. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, what you know in the kingdom stays with you. Are, are you hearing what I'm saying? When you know it, he said they are life to those who find them. That means they sought for it. They are life to do, not to everybody. They are not life to every Christian. They are life to those who find them. So as God opens our eyes to see these things in the spirit, we must, we must be passionate about making them part of our lives. The question is, how many of us are really willing to apply the things we are hearing? It's, it's, see, the, 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 the issue with the body of Christ may not necessarily be lack of revelation, but our inability to take the word of God and make it become part of our life in truth. Oh Lord, I want to know your glory. I want to offer a sacrifice of praise. Feel this temple with your spirit Ephesians chapter 3 <sighs> Thank you Lord Jesus Again we welcome those of us who have come from far May the Lord bless you Your life will never be the same in the name of Jesus Verse 9. Ephesians chapter 3. From verse 9. By the way, let me, let me appreciate as many of us who were able to embark on the fast. I know that some of us didn't fast. Praise the Lord. 
But for as many of us who opened up ourselves, the Bible says, He that sows to the flesh will of the flesh reap corruption. But he that sows to the spirit will of the spirit reap life everlasting. It says, do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. Men can be mocked, but God cannot be mocked. Whatsoever a man sows, Hallelujah. Whatsoever a man sows, that man will reap. We are sowing to the spirit and we understand that there is a reward. Say there is a reward. Say it one more time, there is a reward. Brothers and sisters, not everything in the kingdom is a gift. Not everything in the kingdom is a gift. There are certain things that are rewards. If everything in the kingdom is a gift, what then is the reward of obedience? Hallelujah. It says, there remained a rest for the people of God. Although they are the people of God, there still remained a rest. It says, let us labor to enter that rest. For he that has entered that rest has ceased from his works. Hallelujah. So I want to really salute every one of us. I know for many of us, doing a dry fast like that may not be very, your body, because you are living in the body, may not be easy. But you see, his strength is made perfect in our weakness. Hallelujah. It doesn't kill. Don't let any man fool you. It does not kill. It does something to you in the spirit. That until you are spiritually minded, you may never understand. You see, I keep saying it. If I ask this sister to stand, stand where you are, without telling her the reason why she should stand, huh? and the benefit, whatever she will gain for standing, she will be wary. Are you getting my point? And there's every tendency that she will compromise. But if I tell her, stand here. Because somebody is about to pass, let him locate you and bless you. Even when she's tired, there is a higher revelation that is beyond the pain of her body. And it keeps her. This is the revelation that makes men spiritual. So although your body is weak, Paul says, so then, death works in us. That life may work in you. Physically speaking, your body is weak. You see everything and you want to take it. Even if it is, even if it is Vicks Lemon Plus or what. You just want to take anything that can help you. The clearest proof of obedience is when you have the opportunity to disobey. That's when your obedience is perfected. If I rob you of an opportunity to obey and I don't give you an option, you are not really obedient. That's why there was another tree in the Garden of Eden. So that the will of man could freely choose. Hallelujah. I salute every one of you. May God bless us. We will reap the benefits for sure. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me also use this opportunity to salute all of the workers. I was just thinking about the workforce we have in this ministry. Believe me, you may not understand the enormous responsibility that working in this ministry entails. You must love God to be a faithful worker. They are bounded by love. And um, I can only imagine trying to do all of the things they are doing while praying and fasting. Complete dry fast. The Lord will honor you in the name of Jesus Christ. My Bible tells me that God is no man's debtor. He will reward you your labor of love. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Out of the ashes of my dying today I see the breaking of a brand new day In which the name of the Lord alone is glorified. I see the breaking of a brand new day. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Ephesians chapter 3. That's where we are. Verse 9. It's projected so we can just look to save time. And to make all men see what is the what? Of what? It says the fellowship of the mystery. To make men see what is the fellowship. The resultant effect of our partaking in the knowledge of the mysteries of the kingdom. Which from the beginning of the world had been hid in God. Who created all things by Jesus Christ. Verse 10. To the intent. That means this is why he is now revealing to us the mystery. That now unto principalities and powers in heavenly places might be known by the church the multifaceted wisdom of God. That means that the wisdom of God is shrouded in mysteries. And every time God wants to display new dimensions of himself, he opens people, he grants them access to the mysteries of the kingdom. Take all of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. Use all of me, all of me, Lord. I give all of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. Take all of me, all of me, Lord. Anoint my everything. Use my everything. I release my everything. You have my everything. Take all of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. Take all of me, all of me, Lord. Brothers and sisters, we reign in this kingdom on the strength of our knowledge of the mysteries. Hallelujah. Dominion is not an impartation. Dominion is not about claiming, I take it. No. Dominion is the resultant effect of the spiritual understanding of this system. The laws that have been put in operation. Hallelujah. And how to be able to work with these laws. To ensure that the kingdom of God comes across a territory. So dominion has nothing to do with just trying to claim. It's not about jacking yourself and trying to believe. When Jesus walked upon the earth. Every time he looked at things. He interpreted them on the strength of his knowledge about the mysteries of the kingdom. When he saw the winds and the waves. He didn't join the other people to say I think we are in rainy season. He looked well and he said no this is demonic. Are you getting what I am saying now? All through the Bible. All those who were able to, by reason of some spiritual means, have access to the mysteries of the kingdom. They were the ones who reigned in their generation. Isaac understood something about spiritual laws. And when men were running away for famine, he sowed in that land. And he reaped a hundredfold. Hallelujah. The Bible says the Philistines envied him. He increased, he worked strong, he made progress. Moses had an encounter and there was something that Moses knew. He knew that his rod was the rod of God and that that rod could do mighty things. Brothers and sisters, those who will be featured in this end time move of God are not just men who say, God use me. They are men who will have to understand the ancient keys that kept the heavens
heavens and the earth closed and that opened them at will. If you do not understand this key, you will die like a member. The world is becoming spiritual every day. I hope you realize. It used to be physical when giants and great men will threaten others. Then it now became intellectual. Hallelujah. So your dominion is on the strength of your knowledge of intellect and, and having knowledge of your biological environment and so on and so forth. But before Christ comes, it is they that know their God. They that know is the same word know like a man knowing a woman. They that have come into practical intimacy that has proofs. They that know their God, they shall be strong and they shall do exploits. I don't want to live my life guessing, hoping I'm right. Hoping that the laws of the spirit that are being operated are the correct ones. Only to find out that it's not like that. The Bible says, Awake thou that sleepest, and Christ will give you light. He said, Walk circumspectly, as wise, not as unwise. In the days that will come, hear me, those that do not understand the mysteries of the kingdom will die like men. men. But they looked at Paul and Barnabas and they said the gods have come to us. They called them the Greek gods, Zeus and Hermes. Because, I, 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 oh my God. Look at the Bible says how that, um, Peter now, right? A snake beat his hand, a viper. And he just shook it. And they said this is not an ordinary human being. Imagine, imagine if all Moses had to bring the people out of Egypt was a desire to stop seeing people suffering. You know he would have died right there? Right there in the palace. That's what a lot of people are carrying. They have zeal. Lord, I want to save my family with zeal. Zeal without knowledge will end you in disaster because you will enter territories where you do not understand the codes of operation and your zeal will frustrate you. It will make it look like Jesus did not die. There are many people who have sustained casualties. Some people went to their villages out of zeal and they set altars on fire. They set shrines on fire. Before it finished burning, half of them were para was paralyzed from top to bottom. Like the temple, the curtain that tore when Jesus died. Half of them from top to bottom. Left hand side or right hand side. What do you know that sponsors your audacity to confront evil? What secret have you found? Those of us in ministry... What have you found that assures you that ministry will last? Hmm. He says, I found your word and I did eat them. And it was a joy and a rejoicing to my soul. What have you found? What have you found that gives you confidence? In this wicked society that we live in. What have you found, brothers and sisters? In Luke chapter 4, reading from verse 15 downwards, the Bible says Jesus found, he found it, where it was written about him, the prophecy of Isaiah. And he said, this day is this scripture fulfilled. What have you found that gives you a guarantee that you will be married? By now you know being beautiful is not enough. What have you found? What is your spiritual advantage? When all else fail, what do you stand on? Job is one man I have come to respect and love. When you study the book of Job, ayah. Ah, This was a man who had all kinds of catastrophe in his life.
Do you know what it means for a man to be the richest man in the East? The East has always been associated with wealth. Right? Wise men came from the East. Job was such a, he said, in the days of my youth, when the secrets of the Lord were upon my tabernacle, the young men saw me and bowed their heads. The old men saw me and they stood up. What kind of influence did Job command? And then all of a sudden, in one day, everyone say one day. Say it one day. It was not one prophetic day. It was one literal day. They came to Job and said, Job, your children, they are all dead. Your cattle, your house, everything. And all that Job was left with was his wife and his health. When everything disappeared, Job checked around, what mystery do I know that can help me now? And Job said, he blessed the name of the Lord and said, naked I came and naked I will return. Blessed be the name of the Lord. How can a man speak like that? Do you not know that there must be something you know that makes you to give thanks like that? Your children, your cattle, everything. Job did not know that there is a possibility of knowing what can happen in the spirit. I hope you know that the meeting that happened in the spirit was an advantage that was given to us by the person who wrote that book. Those in the earth realm did not know that something transpired like that. Little did they know that the sons of God came and Satan was part of them. And he said, Satan, where are you coming from? That means Satan does not stay in one place. And that means Satan is not omnipresent. Are you seeing that now? And Satan said, from my voyage around this territory. And he said, while you went around to families and territories, did you come across a man called Job? Satan said, I know him. I've seen him. I've seen him. I destroyed other families, jeopardized other people. But when I came to Job, I saw a level of fortification that frustrated me. Come on now. This is a conversation happening in the heavenlies. Whereas Job was minding his business here in the earth realm. Imagine what is being said about you in the spirit. And you are here just walking around. Naive and you become a victim of the result of meetings where you did not participate in. I refuse it. I refuse it. The Bible says they know not, neither do they understand. Men discuss things in the spirit and humans in the earth realm receive the result of the meetings. And someone gets up in the morning and returns back with one leg. That is the result of a meeting that was carried out. You were not there but you were the victim of it. Don't let anyone fool you. The whole world lieth in wickedness. Someone gets up in the morning blesses the name of the Lord, dresses well and you carry your, your file to the office only to return in the evening with a sack letter. Can I tell you something? When you understand the mysteries of the kingdom, you will know that nothing just happens in the earth realm. Jesus gave us a picture. He said, let it be done in the earth as it is. That means the earth is always a reflection of something that happens already in the heavens. Are you getting what I'm saying? Are you learning something? My passion is to help you see from a spiritual lens. To give you a new vista so that you do not join men. You don't call what they call conspiracy, conspiracy. You can step home on the strength of a higher spiritual advantage. And you know what law to engage. This is what makes you more than a conqueror. Hallelujah. That means if Job had cursed God, he would have activated a law that would have killed him. Are you getting that? Because his wife gave us a revelation. She knew that that law existed. She said, Job, I'm your wife, but I'm tired. 
Do you want to die fast? Cause God. This is another revelation on its own. I don't know how you read your Bible, but I have positioned myself to see light in everything in the world. I don't read my Bible to have sermons or to crime scriptures. They are life to me. There are certain things that have intrigued me about the book of Job. One of it is the ability, hear me, the ability to invoke God and then God comes down. How did Job do it? Did he use a magic formula? Is it not in your Bible? Job summoned God and the king of kings and the lord of lords showed up. Right now we use all kinds of instruments and waste time for days. We say we are trying let's call down the presence of God. Job, a man in his pain said, Lord, I demand a meeting with you. Man, Brothers and sisters, what you know can make you look like a God upon the surface of the earth. Hmm. Who is God speaking to tonight? It's time to rise up. There is a new status. There is, there is, there is an enlargement in the spirit. God wants to give you capacity to reign experientially. Oh, I sense the presence of God, strong and mighty in this place. And Job refused. And then another meeting was held in heaven. And Satan said, I, I have an explanation as to why Job didn't curse you. Because he's still healthy. He said, every man can give thanks. It's not unusual. That means as I went around the earth, I saw those I afflicted, but I left their health and they still gave thanks. He said, touch his body. God said, really? All right. Go ahead and touch his body. A man was minding his business and a baller came out. Are you seeing that those boils? Hold on. Those boils, where did they come from? They were direct. It was based on an instruction. Like a text message you send and it will go to the person you sent it to. Job just found out that boils and blisters were coming out of his body. And his wife said, this is it. I've tried for you. We have, after all, we've had plenty of children. So if it's faithfulness, I have proven that I'm faithful. It's time to go cause God and die. She wasn't sick. She did not know that it was not because she was standing strong. But she was not part of the meeting. The, the discussion was not about her. There are so many people who have not received any attack from darkness. They think it's because their spiritual life is strong. The day your file is open, you will see how weak you are. They laugh at others. Hold on. I'm very serious tonight. They are lazy. They don't pray. They don't fast. They say, I'm not praying. I'm not fasting. I'm not doing anything. But the devil would dare not touch me. Hold on. In the book of Job, there was a discussion. Nothing happened to the wife of Job. She didn't become barren. She, she was standing close to a man with a disease that could contact her, but nothing happened. Hallelujah. Are you getting blessed tonight? And then, when Job's body was sore, dogs came to lick his body. The Bible tells us, that there were certain people that came from different territories of greatness. And they sat down for seven days. They were using the wisdom that made them great. To analyze what, what law would have been violated. To make God judge a man like that. And for seven days they were brainstorming. After seven days they looked and said, Kai Job, you sinned. We, we have checked everything. You sinned. Job said, don't talk like that about me. God will curse you. Better keep, if you don't know what to say, and Elihu reserved himself. Elihu was still checking. He said, ah, ah, the law of creation, the mystery of longevity. What law did Job break? This way, other people were just moving around. Ah, Job, sorry. But others said, no, let's check these laws. See, brothers and sisters, there is light that makes you different. Other people looked at the heavens and said, why is today bright? The wise men said, no way. Something is happening in the earth realm. Something is happening somewhere. And they started tracing it. 
Other people were saying, please, so let's dry the clothes very fast. Whereas salvation had come. In Herod's palace, the spirit of the Antichrist communicated quickly. He said, another king has been born. Herod, do something about it quickly. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Brothers and sisters, there are mysteries. When Jezebel, I told you that Jezebel is a system, isn't it? That's the she goddess, the system, the antichrist system. Jezebel was married to Ahab. The spirit came into her. Why? Because Ahab represented governance. And she knew it was a mountain that held relevance. So she occupied there and she was practically the one ruling. Are you getting my point? And Jezebel swore when she heard that they destroyed the prophets of Baal. She said, Elijah, I must remove your head. Elijah went up to heaven. Now the spirit of Elijah came in John the Baptist. Jezebel re-entered Herodias again. Are you seeing? And that head of John the Baptist, she's got it. That was why when they birthday down, she said, no, there is a score. He knows. <laughs> there is such ignorance in the earth, man. We walk around. It's not our fault. It's the fault of all of the pastors, apostles, prophets, all of us that claim that we are men of God because we are stewards. The Bible tells us of the mysteries of God. 1 Corinthians chapter 4. Open my eyes, oh God. Open my eyes. 1 Corinthians chapter 4. When God calls you, can you have it amplified? Is it possible? Yes. Please, if you are in ministry, don't be in a hurry to rush or go on air. Are you getting my point now? Many of us are in a hurry. I want to go for a radio program and say what? Make sure you have something to say. He says, so then, let us apostles be looked upon as ministering servants of Christ. And what? Trustees of the mysteries, the secret purposes of God. That means when God calls you, your call tilts you in a position in the spirit where you have an advantage of access to the mysteries of the kingdom. And if God blesses you with a congregation and you are wasting their time telling them a lot of junk and jargons, the Bible says you are not a steward of the mysteries. And I refuse to allow you to be ignorant. You will be empowered with light. So when men are running like the nation of Israel away from Goliath, you will run to Goliath like David. David knew something bigger than a little stone. David knew something. He had, he understood something. There is something you must know that can make you bold. That a man will look at you and say, do you know I can sack you from this work? <laughs> you don't just do this foolish Pentecostal laugh. We laugh and they still sack you. You are laughing without revelation. We do stupid things in the body of Christ. Ah, God forbid you will not sack me. The next day, you are collecting the letter and you are going out. And you come and meet the pastor that taught you whatever he taught you. And he says, what happened? You mean they sat you? It's an embarrassment to redemption. Well, it has happened. But Elijah was a man of like passion like us. The Bible says, and he prayed earnestly that there may not be rain. How can one man didn't consult with the geographers, didn't consult with anybody, did not even use a public address system. He just said, on the strength of what I know, I understand that this territory has been given unto me as an ambassador, and I speak higher. This will come when men will speak. We will speak when we have something to say, not just to make noise. Men will come. Look, let me tell you something times will come when the church will determine the events in Africa and determine the, the events across this nation. It's not to get money from politicians because you see the Shunammite woman was a very wealthy woman 
And when the prophet came, he said, what should I do to you? He said, should I talk to the governor? That means Elisha was not a small man. He could summon the governor. Say, you know what happened for you to sit down there. Are you ready to listen or you are ready to follow those who are disobedient just like you? Having the readiness to judge all disobedience when our own obedience is complete. Hallelujah. One of our, one of our workers was sharing with me this afternoon a very touching testimony. He went on IT. He's still on IT. Brothers and sisters, as an IT student, first and foremost, there were two places that were paying him some very interesting amounts. When he told me, I was very surprised. That's the first miracle. Second miracle is that when he went there, the owner of the company where he was, he was doing his IT said he wanted his son to be the manager of the place. And since the son is not available, he should come and be managing the place. You want a job. The question is, what do you know? How do men get jobs? What have you been taught that brings a job? Application, submit your CV, wait. Is that true? Could it be that what you know is not the truth? That a thing has existed for a long time does not mean it is the truth. Listen, we need to begin to probe the foundation, the things that make up our ideologies. Start asking questions. Don't just absorb anything like that. Start asking questions. Why must that growth disappear and appear? It is in your body, but it is not within your control. It's violating a law. Already, it tells you that is demonic. How can some, because everything in your body should grow at the same rate. Now, this growth is not growing at the same rate. So, which life is sponsoring it? You did biology. Something else must be sponsoring that supernatural growth. It took you 20 years to look the way you are. It takes three days for a boil to come out like that. But when you are not interested in probing it, and it does not cause you to go to the secret place and say, Lord, what mean at these things? I'm tired of allowing things to just pass. Hallelujah. Are you receiving something? I refuse to live my life based on guesswork. It's a terrible way to live. Brothers and sisters, I have a question for you. What is the guarantee that you are going to celebrate Christmas this year? Look at me. What is the guarantee? Is there, is there a spiritual principle that can give you some kind of assurance? Or do we just walk and whatever will be, will be? I know this is challenging and I don't mean to hurt anyone, maybe of the demise of your loved ones, but I'm, I'm encouraging you. What is the guarantee that you're not going to celebrate? See, let me tell you. Many of us have not confronted these issues. We've, we've forgotten about it and we've run away. When you run away from a thing, you have not defeated it. When you stand and face it and triumph over it. Hallelujah. Man of God, what gives you assurance that your ministry will keep growing from glory to glory? See, people have been saying they like me. Hey, people, you, you better... You better find an authentic revelation because one moment they said crucify him I mean they said he gave us bread we will force him to be king the next moment they said crucify him can my life be so in order huh when you pray for the sick what gives you guarantee that they will be healed your pastor told you, lay hands on the sick, they will be healed. You saw him lay hands and they were healed. You say, me too, I will do it. Is that it? 
or hands were laid on me and they say you will now have the healing anointing. Is that it? I'm probing our convictions. And you will find out that many of us are not standing on the rock. On Christ the solid rock I stand All other ground is sinking sand All other ground is sinking sand What happens to you when they suddenly look at you and listen some of us come from territories where witchcraft is very open what happens when you go maybe to your village or somewhere for god's sake please listen to me and somebody looks at you and says pastor femi you will not get married this is an agreement we have had what do you do and i say, i will show them mm -mm. let's not be childish this night what will you do what revelation what key will be ignited if someone if i meet you now jimmy and i say you are 10 koinonia you say yes i even had you sing and i said sorry i've been going to a native doctor all my life please here's the charm he gave me help me and break it take what are you going to tell him book for counseling Don't just laugh. I hope you get what I'm telling you. We are the light of the world. We are a city that is set on a hill. Break, help me, destroy this charm. I'm tired of it. And you hear that the last person who really held it died. That's when everybody says, you know, the way this world is, wisdom is profitable to direct. All these kinds of scriptures that emerge out of fear. All right, look up. What gives you confidence huh? that they are not plotting an evil plot to kill you this night? Is it impossible? I'm, see, I'm not making you afraid. I'm teaching you how to be victorious. Many of us think by running away from this, say, don't think about these things. I refuse to think about I know that the Bible says set your mind on things above. But Jesus is, he, is it not your Bible where death is said, Oh, death, I'm talking to you. Where is your sting? Oh, grave, where is your victory? If you cannot confront, see, eternal life is not life after death, eternal life is authority and victory over death. There are many things we cannot confront in the body of Christ. As I'm talking now, some of you are saying, please, so allow me to get home safely first before you say all of this. What revelation did Jesus have that made him sleep when the boat was physically almost capsizing? How do you know whether your roommate has Ebola or not? Is it not till doctors say the person has it? How do you know? How do you know? Maybe since last year you have been passing those who had it. Look at this. A madman eats from the trash can. They teach us that it is not healthy. Abi, answer me. Is it not true? You spent how many years studying that reality? They thought if you eat, there are all kinds of microorganisms. A madman comes to sit down, turns the dustbin upside down. And he helps himself all through that night and gets up, cleans his body and moves while cold you are in your room you are lying down and the cold you have to add jacket and blanket the madman is talking to himself and just strolling on barefoot rain is just beating him and he's looking up and laughing and you're saying oh boy this poor man and the man is laughing back at you correct and after three months that guy is still healthy and strong they say that there's crisis everywhere. They are running, the guys moving around and talking nonsense. And the crisis will finish, the guy is still moving around. Question, who is really mad? This guy, because 
There is no hope of getting sick. There's no hope of even treating him. You will see him enjoy himself. He will leave the wound there. Flies disturbing it. He will leave it there. The wound will heal by itself. No, no nothing. Could it be that there is something we have learned that has given the devil advantage over us? Could it be that there is something we have been taught that if we did not know it, we would not be this fearful? Technology has increased our fear because it has opened us to the possibilities that exist in this realm. You watch a movie and all of a sudden you just realize that cabbage can kill. You never knew. You ate cabbage, you stole it, you went to people's farm, you looted their products, nothing happened. Now you watch the movie where cabbage killed somebody and you said, this is it. This is it. Hear me, don't just laugh. I'm, I'm probing our convictions. It's time to ask questions. Not to be a rebel, but to ask questions. Everybody marries at 35. I mean, too, I grew up and I saw it like that. I, wouldn't you ask questions? I say, no problem, I'm 22. People served in church, they married at 37. You have not asked questions why they still serve and that happened. Could it be that your generation or your lineage is crying for a savior and saying lord will you not raise somebody and god says you come for koinonia there is something you must know that will equip you you need to stamp it at the devil somewhere oh the beauty of light all of a sudden you step home and you tell them i brought good news you see why the gospel is called good news what have we been giving people bad news all sorts of bad news. That means what we are preaching is not the gospel. Hallelujah. And you step home and you look at a lady who has not been married and you tell her, I'm not only going to pray for you, I will tell you what is wrong. It's not about you are a prophet. It's spiritual intelligence has made you prophetic. Hallelujah. Knowledge opens up the prophetic dimension in everyone. And so you look and you say, sister, there are certain truths you need to know. And when you know, you will walk out of this. And you begin to share those truths. And as you share, you will see the power of God. Last week, I think there was a gentleman that they brought. They had been, the one I announced, they had been on my case with that guy. I heard the guy was on a bike, minding his business. I don't know which corner he entered. One demon just fell on his head. The guy started speaking nonsense at once. No negotiation. It's amazing how the devil does not consult with us to try to afflict us. And this gentleman, the family members were confused and all of that. And I said, come for Koinonia. And after the meeting, I didn't even know because I kept announcing, you know, we we're about going and they, they brought the guy. I said, sit down there. When I saw him, I said, my friend, you are going to be delivered now. I was not asking him a question. I was not trying to say, do you have faith? Is your faith working? What size? Is it weak faith or strong faith? All I know is that that demon is living. Period. Period. When you truly have money to give somebody and he asks you for money, you will say, can your hand stretch well or small? Are you ready to take? Take. When you start giving excuses and say, hey, there's, I'm expecting, you know, there's one, this is my uncle, the way this Nigeria is. All those long stories are they are trying to point to one thing. There's no money in your pocket. It's as simple as that. This is how it is spiritually. When we begin to give a lot of excuses and stories, it's a sign that we have not held on to something solid. Oh, that God will make you a savior. This is what this is all about. Brothers and sisters, that God will make you a savior. Forget about the challenges today. Are you getting my point? Don't feel bad. Forget about it. But you tell yourself, I have paid this price once and for all. I said something last week and let me say it again. There has been this new discovery that has been stopping a lot of weddings, right? SS and AS. Are you aware of that? Lover boy, are you aware? Are you aware that this can jeopardize your destiny? That is not just enough to be in love. 
Are you aware of the implications, the questions you will be asked? I was told a very pathetic story of one guy who honestly had been seeing a sister. This guy had prayed. He was so convicted. He was so happy. And they went out on their first date. He was so happy. And then the lady told him, I think whether I'm SS or something, and said, this is the reality. And the guy said, whether he was AS or this. You see, it's a little issue. But now I have your attention. Because there are many of us that are probably asking this question, is this how my life will be? But there is a way out. If you don't believe there is a way out, we don't deserve to call God, God. There is a way out. Oh, there is a way out. We're tired of the status quo. There's got to be more than this. We're tired of the status quo. There's got to be more than this. There's got to be more, got to be more. There's got to be more. The scripture I just read says that we have been called into the fellowship of this mystery. That means the scrolls have been unlocked. Access has been given to us. Go and find out what it takes to reign. Listen, revelation is not knowing what God has said. Revelation is making it, knowing how to make it work in your life. That's revelation. It's not just what God has said. It's knowing how to make it work in your life. Knowing how to make it work. imagine that with the revelation you have now after this meeting you will run run to a clinic where you know that somebody that you have been praying and trusting God for huh? who has been praying and say well this is God that brought this thing and you just tell him no I've discovered something new and I have come to prove it to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ arise from this hospital and all of a sudden Joshua Selman was not there. Your HOD was not there. But the God you serve was there. And you will watch that person get up. And your name is brother. So, 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 and so. And all of a sudden, you, you go back. See, there is a joy when the word works for you. Not that it is made to work for you. When you provoke it and you come with a testimony, you know that the word of God is alive. When you pray for someone, and the person says, do you know, I didn't even tell you the gravity of what I was suffering. It's like, look at the gentleman who was speaking. This is a growth. A growth is not something you lie about. For those of you who don't believe in miracles, how do you fake a growth? You can fake, like many of you think we men of God around do. You can fake that, okay, genotype changed. But do you fake a baby? How do you fake that a woman was barren and now is holding a baby? How do you fake that somebody could not walk and is now standing? There are mysteries. Everyone said there are mysteries. And I'm planting a hunger in every one of us to begin to explore the mysteries of the kingdom. Oh, there are mysteries. When it was time to judge the prophets of Baal. Elijah said, let us go to a mountain. He, he said, no, 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 no. There is a mystery we must invoke. Let's go to a mountain. And Baal said, I know what you are going. I know where you are going. I will meet you there. Other people were saying, why are they going? The ignorant ones always remain in the valley. Those who have knowledge climb the mountain. When they got there, he said, this is how we we'll do it. You invoke Baal and I'll give you enough time. Brothers and sisters, they started calling on Baal. The Bible says they started cutting themselves. What did they understand about sacrifice and the presence of a God? They were cutting themselves to, to produce blood. They wanted blood to come out because they knew that blood is a language. It's a magnet in the spirit. They look at how they were walking a lot of spiritual laws. And Elijah was laughing. He said, I know what you are trying to do. I'm sure Baal is sleeping. If you were the one, will you be laughing or you'll be praying? I said, Lord, let this thing not happen the same way it's happening. I, I'm, don't disgrace me here. On the strength of spiritual knowledge, a man was laughing at the devil. 
when it was time he said uh -uh, there is a protocol to spiritual things we don't do things foolishly let me have 12 altars ah the spirit of god said a man of intelligence somebody would have just said let me now show you oh god and you we do all kinds of things and the devil said this is it he said let me have 12 altars and when there were 12 altars he set up everything ah he said so that you don't think that we manufactured fire pour water the foolish people were pouring water they did not know that there is a mystery of the spirit the water and the blood the bible says when it comes to the earth these three entities can open any door it says there are three that bear witness in heaven the spirit the word and what the father the spirit and the word but it says when it comes to the earth there are three elements their coexistence will open any door he says the spirit, the water, and the blood. And Elijah said, pour water. They were foolishly pouring water. When they finished, he said, oh God. And see the fire that came? The Bible says the fire came and licked up everything. Elijah said, chase them. Kill every single one of them. When he killed them, Jezebel had it. What law was operated? What law? Who is this guy? And suddenly she realized that Elijah was not a normal human being. And Elijah said, I'm done. I came to judge this she goddess called Jezebel because her prophets prospered and the prophets of God were in hiding. But one man was bold. Although there were many prophets, they couldn't come out. They were hiding. Elijah was taking fresh air. They came to disrupt him. He said, fire. Next, fire. The third people said, we, we are begging you. It's not like we are forcing you. We are begging you. We left our wives at home. We are begging you. Everybody say mysteries. Say mysteries. The occultic realm and witchcraft manipulate people through mysteries. Are you getting my point now? They use spells. They use enchantments. They don't need to see you. They make pronouncements. And when they make those pronouncements, when it comes, if there is darkness in you, it will prevail. Because they are called rulers of darkness. That means their, their dominion is activated when there is darkness. They are called rulers of darkness. But when they come and they see light, see, all this, I am uncursable, I am unkillable. You better understand the mysteries of the kingdom that activates those realities in your life. Because although you have been claiming and jumping, look at your life. It's already happening. I'm not scaring you. I'm telling you that there is more than what we have been taught. And brothers and sisters, if you do not open your eyes to see, you may not reign in life. There are many churches. There are many pastors struggling. I want crowd. I want this. I want that. And they do not know that there are mysteries in the kingdom. The Bible says, listen. It says, if I be lifted up. Have you read that scripture? Huh? MOG, let me give you a little clue. If I be lifted up. When a man of God keeps lifting himself, get ready for empty pews. It says, if I be lifted up, I will what? Draw all men unto myself. Not unto a man of God. If I be lifted up, I will draw all men. When you keep drawing men to yourself, you will find out that there is very little you can give them. But when you draw men, when, when, when you reflect Christ, you stand as an ambassador, God himself. The Bible says, and God added daily to them as many as should be saved. Paul can plant, Apollos can water, but increases exclusively of God. Hallelujah. Tell me, what can I do? I can live without you. I can live without you.
There is a mystery that has not been unlocked. Listen, listen, listen. There are mysteries are like spiritual codes of operations. I've shared it again during our series on mysteries of the kingdom. But I'll say it. Mysteries are like codes of operation. Look at me. If you have a drug, right? Just give me a viral cup or anything that I can use. If this is a drug, please look at me. Pharmacist, I'm not a pharmacist, so forgive me whether what I'm saying is right or wrong let's just accept it are you getting my point now in the making of this drug certain things have been programmed this drug is like a machine is that true you don't look at it and say Panadol don't by any means go to my leg I'm okay there the trouble is by this side of my head better find a way of positioning yourself and solve what is there no no you pick it up carry water close your eyes throw it in your mouth and take water and you smile. You go back. The Panadol has been programmed to look for what is wrong. Because even you, you don't know what is wrong. You, are, you only know what you feel is wrong. Is that true? So when you go to a doctor, he looks at you and he says, doctor, I, I don't know what is it. My eyes, he says, it's not eyes. He says, I'm, I'm the one going through it. I'm telling you, he says, it's not your eyes. Just keep quiet. Take this, take that. And after two days, you come and say, ah, ah doctor I've been, I started giving myself medication for the past one week, the eyes, the pain has even increased say who asked you, it was not eye problem it's the symptom of something else listen, mysteries are like spiritual programmings when they come into your territory it's like an atomic bomb they open up and they begin those codes start writing themselves upon your family so there could be mysteries that invoke barrenness. Listen to me. There could be mysteries that invoke academic failure. There could be mysteries that invoke late marriage. These mysteries are sent through whatever spiritual means. Dreams, enchantments. It says, in six things shall he deliver you. Yes, seven things. It says, you shall be delivered from the scourging tongues of men. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? So this code lands like an alien and it begins to type out in your family that which it was programmed to do. Because mysteries work like the word of God. It's a mimicking. I told you that Satan was called what? Lucifer, the light bearer. He was the one who kept the revelations of the spirit. No word returns to the sender until it accomplishes what it was returned. If for any reason it returns to the sender, a higher word sent it away. Are you getting what I'm saying? So he says, so shall my word be that proceeded forth from my mouth. It shall not return. Hallelujah. It's like an SS1 student who tells a junior student, go and fetch water. And an SS3 student says, go and sleep. Who will he obey? If the SS1 student says, I sent you, he says, mm -mm, no, please. My school father said I should go and sleep. I'm going to have my siesta. There says one student is now, he has joined two of them. Is that true? The integrity of the SS3 student and the SS1 student is what will be. And he said, I will punish you in front of this one to let you know I'm your senior. Or you kneel down. You go and fetch the water and give the junior student and he will use. That's a way of humiliating him to establish his seniority. Hallelujah mysteries everyone say mysteries there are many well-meaning christians hear me who are victims of the unlocking of mysteries someone comes and matches a charm brothers and sisters this person is returning maybe from church with your bible from choir practice huh you didn't see anything on on the ground that shows that there is a charm but you stepped on it the charm has been programmed. He said, anybody's leg that steps on you is the person who said. And you step on it without light. And all of a sudden, you are minding your business and you see another law walking in your members. 
What is going on? Suddenly your leg, you can't tell again. Ha -ha. The last time I checked, my leg was fine. What is going on? You get up the next day times two. The size. Next day times three. And they go to the hospital and they say, Kai, there's nothing. Doctors now already know. They are tired of the devil. Thank God for what God is doing in hospitals. Many doctors now, when they look at your case, they say, look, I'm advising you. If you know a man of God that is anointed, find him quickly. Because where you are lying down here, three people came, same condition. Thank God for doctors that are spirit-filled. Hallelujah. There are families like that. Brothers and sisters, I'm not the kind of person that sees demons in everything. There are principles. We're intelligent people. But I will deceive you if I tell you evil is not real. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I would have, I would have jeopardized the integrity of my calling. This is why many of us go through all kinds of cycles of a lot of things. Brothers and sisters, hear me. When you find yourself in trouble, if you find yourself in a hole, you can't bring yourself out. It says, they that sat in darkness have seen a great light. That was the light that came to them. And then he said, arise and shine for your light. Not because you can sit down there forever. But he says, when your light comes, then you will arise. Tonight, someone's, how many minutes do we have? I'll minister for a few more minutes and then we'll, I'll take time and we'll minister to the sick. Is that, is that alright? I know that there are people who are trusting God for healings. I'm not the kind of man of God that will say, now, after hearing this message, I hope that as you go back home, do something about it. No, no. Something must be done now. I'm not teaching you to start insulting people and just laugh and say this man is not powerful because we are all laboring to enter that rest in reality. Listen, the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, hear me please, the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ gives us access. Our operating these kingdom principles bring us, it is us taking advantage, hear me, when you walk in these principles, you are not trying to do something else outside of what Christ has done. It is your partnership with him. You're taking advantage of the access to make it real in your life. Are you getting my point now? Because that's where I understand that there can be confusion. A lot of us have believed that, okay, Jesus have done it. I believe it and I've said so. But I'm not seeing anything in my life. Deuteronomy 28 verse 1, it says, If thou sh it shall come to pass in that day, thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord to do and observe all that I command thee this day, that this blessing shall come upon you and shall overtake you. Listen, the Bible tells us again and again that we do not yet see all things under his feet. Please get this. Our walking the word of God is not trying to add to what Christ has done. Our walking the word of God is our response of obedience. Are you getting my point now? It is our proof of faith to make alive that truth. There are laws in the kingdom that were there before the fall of man. I hope you know. Job I want to come have time, but let me show you something interesting. Let's go to the book of Job. Hallelujah. 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 Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Job thirty eight. 
Behold, I show you a mystery. This that I'm about to read happened way, hear me, it happened way before Genesis 1. Job 38, okay. Job, through whatever spiritual mystery I really do not know, but he invoked the presence of God. Then the Lord answered Job out of what? A whirlwind. You see that it was the same whirlwind with the chariots of fire that came and carried Elijah. And said, verse 2, Who is this that darkeneth counsel by words without knowledge? Who is this that is talking? Job, you are making a lot of noise. I've been listening to you from heaven. You've been saying so many things. You are ranting. Job, I want to speak to you now. Verse 3. Guard up your loins like a man, for I will demand of thee. I want to talk to you, using my knowledge as God, and I want you to answer me, if you think you have knowledge of that much mystery. Verse 4. Where was thou when I laid the word? That's question 1. So God tells us the earth has foundation. Geography tells us is revolving in space. God said, uh-uh. There is a spiritual mystery. A day, this earth is like a building. What kind of eyes will you see that will turn a God shape into a building? Declare if thou hast understanding. Verse 5. Who laid the measures? That means there was an architect. It was an intentional thing. The earth was measured. It has dimensions. Or who had stretched the line. Like the plumb line you use upon it. Verse 6. Whereupon are the foundations fastened? Like a tent. Or who laid the cornerstone? Verse 7. This God is telling Job. That were you dear. When the morning stars sang together, the day the earth foundation was laid, there was a thanksgiving and foundation laying ceremony. Way before your arrival, this is what happened in the heavens. The morning stars sang together and all the word, I've said, I've said it again and again, sons of God is not a New Testament concept. It has been there since. Sons of God is not a name, it's an office. Who shut the sea with doors? Brothers and sisters, that means the seas you see, they have spiritual doors. So when we see flooding, we know that a law was activated that opened those doors in the spirit. This is what God is telling us. Hallelujah. There's no such thing as just flooding anyhow. There are people by acts of divination, they have inquired in the archives of spiritual things. When it break forth, as if it issued out of the womb. Verse 9. When I made the cloud a garment and thick darkness a swaddling bland for it. Verse 10. And break up for my decreed place and set bars and doors. God made a decree and said, Sis, make sure you remain here. And said, Hither to shall thou come, but no further. And here shall thy proud waves be stayed. Let's stop there. I just wanted to show you. When did this happen? And what? when this thing happened, Job kept quiet. Job said, wow. Wow. You see why the people worship God? Because heaven is a place of perpetual revelation. God surrounds himself with mysteries. So, the mystery you saw before you bow down, when you stand up, is not what you will see again. It's like these lights. The way these lights change, that's how the mysteries around God, there are so many, they keep changing. And so in the book of Ezekiel, we see men saying holy. In Revelation, they are still saying holy. They've not stopped. They are saying holy, it's not that that's their work, they pay them salary for it. No, it is a response they are not even aware that that long a time had come and gone. Brothers and sisters, hear me. There are mysteries in this kingdom. Say it. There are mysteries. 
in many parts of this nation every time they kill men the people in those territories become richer what do they know about blood and money a man of god wrote a powerful book blood money let me tell you the truth every money is blood money every whether blood of jesus or blood of whatever every money is blood money are you learning something i'm not just teaching you this so that you will have theological knowledge and say wow i have something but it is to sponsor your hunger for spiritual things so that when men look at you and say ah, ah pastor femi you are already healing the sick what are you looking for you say what am i looking for paul said that i may know him when paul at the apex of his ministry saw that there was so little he knew he said that i may know him that i may know him in five minutes i'll show you something that the fasting tonight has done for you because it's a mystery fasting is a mystery in the spirit that has not been taught because of the effect it has we have not been taught that it is part of our spiritual growth process i want to see you isaiah 58 i want to hear your voice i want to know I want to know you more. Isaiah 58. I want to know you more. Zila bakura do shila bariyanana. I want to know you. I want to know. Verse 6. Verse 6. Isaiah 58, verse 6. Is not this the fast that I have chosen? That means not every fast carries weight in the spirit. There are some fastings that are religiosities that have no power back in them and it's just dead religion. Are you getting what I'm saying? But it says there is a kind of fast that God has chosen. Is this not the kind of fast that I have chosen? It said to lose the what? To lose the bands of wickedness. To undo the heavy burdens and to do what? To let the oppressed, the word let there is to permit them that they will go free and that you break what? To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, to break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain, break every chain. So it is in this kind of fast that you lose the bands of wickedness. In your fasting, you activate a law that strengthens your faith, kills unbelief. I truly believe that fasting primarily addresses one major issue, and that's unbelief. It opens you up your organs of interaction with the spirit all of a sudden all the possibilities in god are the possibilities in you there is a relationship between food your body and this realm that's why gluttony is a sin gluttony is not fornication so why why is it a sin lost for food the same way a man has lost for a woman Someone has lost, but his own eyes, not a woman, is for food. Even if he has eaten, he can hold the bread and lie down and sleep like that. That is gluttony. That's the kind of case that requires deliverance. Fast. Hallelujah. Because, see, excessive food does something to your spirit man. 
is like a meter. There is a level to which your eating becomes healthy. It keeps your body. Afterwards, it's like the law of diminishing returns. It's like, it's like you are inverting your spirit. Are you seeing that now? Because you see, your, your spiritual growth is inversely proportional to your flesh. Two of them cannot grow at the same time. Huh? So, when one is growing, the other one must bow. And part of that is achieved in fasting. When you fast and you pray and you declare the word with understanding and spiritual intelligence, you edify yourself, you activate certain things. To lose the bands, that means wickedness has a rope. Hello? It has a rope tying down families. Many of us are, are victims of the bands of wickedness, like the hands of Samson, a great warrior but tied down. And nothing could be done about it. He said to undo what? Heavy burdens. A luggage that you inherited. You, they gave birth to you in the middle of a spiritual discussion that has nothing to do with you. And like Simon of Cyrene, you just received a luggage on your head you cannot explain. It says, to let the oppressed go free. Listen, there are, there are different kinds of captivity. But there are certain people, the Bible calls them lawful captives. Captives who are in captivity legally. It says, even the lawful captives shall be delivered. I will contend with them that contend with you. I don't know if you need peace in your life, but it's not just going to come by crossing your legs. You must engage spiritual keys. It says, and I will give you the keys of the kingdom and whatsoever you bind, whatsoever you cast. Keys of access. Verse 8. Let's read together. Then shall what? So fasting is a mystery that accelerates revelation. He said, then shall your light break forth. There is something God has been trying to reveal to you. There is a spiritual understanding that steps up your stand in the spirit. But it's been limited. The weight of food and the weight of, of laziness. This inertia that comes with this body. And when you fast, you ease yourself. The Bible says your light breaks forth as the morning. And your health shall spring forth speedily. And your righteousness shall go before you. And then the glory of the Lord shall be your what? Reward. It shall be your reward. You will see greater glory upon your life. Greater glory. Physically, in ministry, in life. You begin, that's, see, that's why some people go from strength to strength. When you think they have exhausted everything, they come up with a new dimension. Let me show you one last mystery. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's the time now? Isaiah 40. Let's just look at that finally. We hunger and thirst for you. In a dry and weary land, all we want is you. Verse 28, please let's hurry up. Isaiah 40 from verse 28. I want to teach you a very powerful principle. For those of you who have not listened to the teaching, Secrets of Sustained Glory, please get it. There's nothing as painful as looking at a man and saying he once was powerful. He once was anointed. This guy used to have a flourishing ministry. God was alive in his midst. No, it should not be. May you never have the testimony of Ichabod in your life that the glory has departed. No. 
Has thou not known when God begins to probe a man like this, then he wants to reveal something he has not known. Has thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, he does what? Number one, he does not have this characteristic in himself. That means he does not have the ability to fail. There is a mystery encapsulated in his person that cannot permit this deficiency. He says, neither is he weary. There's nothing called tiredness. Because it is hope deferred that makes the heart weary. His word is yea and amen. There is no postponing, so he does not know weariness. He says, and there is no searching of his understanding. So he gives us certain things. Number one, mankind can faint. The word faint is to be fatigued, to be tired. We can be weary when what you hope for does not come. When the marriage does not come as when you want it. Are you hearing me? When the admission or the graduation, it is natural. Hear me. It is not a spiritual deficiency as it were. Is part of the predicament that comes with wearing this body. But there is a technology in the spirit and this is what I want to teach you. It says he giveth what? That means there is a supply in the spirit that can bring power to you when you faint. And to those who have no might, he can increase like a meter. He can increase strength. Hallelujah. Next verse. Even what? I hope you know the Bible says the glory of the young people is their strength. So when the strong ones grow weary, it's a sign that we are limited. The youth shall faint. That means in your Christian experience, listen to me, no matter how anointed you are, no matter how blessed you are, a time can come in your life on the strength of the physical happenings in your life. This possibility can be true of you that you can faint hallelujah you trusted God for a great CGPA you saw five points in your dream when you went to check it you saw 1.7 say Lord which what is this again I've already packaged my Thanksgiving offering I thought it was five points what is who is confusing me here and then you may be a man of God but at this time it will touch you are you hearing me when you hear that your loved one that you have been praying for finally died, the Bible says, even the youths shall faint. And be wary, and young men shall utterly fall. That's why you hear certain people just sit down and you hear them talk. And you're like, sister, are you not born again? Say, see, if God doesn't help me, well, I, whoever comes, I don't care who, I will shall marry and we'll flog it out when we get married. It's not like the person is not a Christian. This is what is happening. Are you getting my point? Don't criticize people when you see them fainting. And Jesus wept. He wept because he took this body. And it grieved him. Jesus was hungry. And he was staggering. And when he came to a fig tree, he wanted to plug it. And there was no food. And he was angry. He caused the fig tree. Because when you wear this body, you can faint. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Physical fatigue, emotional fatigue when your hope is postponed. You are trusting God for the job and someone said, um, you'll hear from me maybe in two weeks time. And you've waited for nine years, no job. Everybody keeps seeing you and say, ah, you should be a, a director now. Be, and you're even embarrassed. Yes, I'm a director by faith. Please don't, don't embarrass me here. Must you laugh at me? That's the kind of testimony that some of us have. But let me tell you something. This is the technology. Hiya. When you get to this state in the spirit, when it looks like you are about to go down, it says, but they, that means not everybody is interested, but they that wait upon the Lord. I fed my life, breathe on me. I look to you for life. 
affect my life, breathe on me. I look to you for life, affect my life, breathe on me. I look to you for life, affect my life, breathe on me. If you're a man of God here, let me teach you a secret. Otherwise, one day you'll sit before your congregation and start crying. I don't know how many messages I preach in a week. I travel all the time. I'm on, I'm on the road. And there are all kinds of expectations. Every territory that invites me, they are happy. They listen to the messages. They go and invite people. And there is, you see, the anointing is like, the anointing is, is as if you have holes in your body. Are you getting me? You become a conductor of the anointing and it tells on your body. That's why when you leave your body and you come back, you feel weak. Right? So, virtue, that concept of virtue going out is real. Many people have not felt it because they are not anointed. They feel the same way from the beginning of the service. They didn't bless anybody, nothing left. But when they touched Jesus, he felt something. He said, who touched me? Ah, it created an effect. Because there are times you are standing on stage and you will receive the pain of somebody. For that small moment, you will feel that pain and your body will respond. Where is this one coming from? The Holy Ghost said, no, no, no. This is a word of knowledge. But your body is still going to suffer that predicament. So by the time the service is done, a lot has left you. You've preached all of the messages and then another message is coming and the people say, man of God, we saw in a vision you were doing great things and you are saying, oh God. One day, you will just fall down and just die because you will preach every message. You will now check and say, now which one? Faith, they had it last year. Uh, <laughs> see, those who are pastors are laughing because they know what happens every Saturday. Saturdays are the most stressful days for men of God. And uh, uh, they are meeting this because they are there sweating. They are wondering, you go to salmon.com, nothing. The heavens are closed. You go to all kinds of things. You try to listen to a man of God's message. You remember that, ah, you shared that thing already and you are, you are now wondering, I say, oh Lord. Don't let that become part of your life. There is a technology. They that wait. It's a system. It's a mystery. It didn't say they, they that shout and do stupid things around the presence of God. They that what do you understand? A waiter, huh? when you go to a very correct restaurant, what a waiter does is that he just stands waiting for your order. Right? They that come into his presence and say, Lord, if you don't help me, there is no help. And phone calls are ringing, man of God, we are calling to remind you that God is going to use you. You keep those things and say, Lord, this is why I'm here. I'm here because of these phone calls. There's so much demand upon me. If you don't increase my capacity and help me. You know that song? Fill my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench this thirsting of my soul. Bread of heaven, fill me till I want. No more, fill my cup, fill it up. The first thing that happens to those who wait upon the Lord is that they shall renew. It's like the charging of a battery. All of a sudden, in his presence, God begins to he fires one revelation that becomes your three month sermon. One revelation. Hi. I'm, I, it is my testimony in his presence all of a sudden you think every message you've exhausted everything and then God gives you an encounter and you start writing and you are sometimes I, I wish I can just organize koinonia every day to just unlock that which is in my spirit so your strength let's try that our song again we will run and not be weary I don't know all the stanzas Da, 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 da. Whatever it is, and his joy will be our strength. I will 
come into his presence. Many of you didn't go to Bible school. We will wait upon the Lord in his presence, his fullness of joy, and our strength shall be restored. Some of you, when they were teaching that song in Sunday school, you were running and scratching people's car and, and stealing money and buying ice cream. When your colleagues were receiving, you were there. They drop you. Immediately they leave. You now run away. <laughs> Hallelujah. So number one, they shall renew their strength. Physical strength. Spiritual strength. When you see a man five years in ministry, looking as if he has been in ministry for 50 years uh, well you see where everything is I just write whether it's there I can't even remember And say, what laziness inertia it says they shall renew their strength number two they shall mount up mm. many of us I don't want to go into the story of the eagle but you know that there are times that the eagle needs to defeather itself, shed off the old for the new because you cannot put new wine in an old wine skin. You cannot tie a new material with an old one. Their strength is not the same. Hallelujah. And so what happens is that in that place of retreat is the shedding off of that level. There is something that leaves you. The weaknesses. God wants to increase the ministry. He needs to increase your faith. He needs to increase your trust. He needs to increase integrity. Many things happen in that secret place. And then you will mount up. All of a sudden, you come up on stage. And whoa, there is a brand new you. When someone is listening to the message and is busy hitting his head, then he hears another dimension. This is an unending mystery. They shall run. Like Elijah. Elijah told Ahab, saddle your ass and run. Don't worry about me. There is a technology in the spirit that accelerates my life. Don't worry. You see, because when you are staying back in the secret place, it looks like you're a fool. Sometimes you will need to refuse a ministration that can honor you greatly. Is it not? You are about to go for a ministration where you know that the honorarium will make you happy. And God says, stay back. There's no true happiness outside of my presence. Stay back and say, Lord, the last time somebody smiled and wanted to give me a car, God said, remain there. But when you remain there, you will run. See, I'm teaching you a powerful secret. That's why when you look, you'll be wondering, is there anything to ENI there? Is there anything to Koinonia? Hold on. When we wait, we will run. Is it not a mystery in the spirit? When you want to run, wait. He said, when you wait, then truly you will run. Hurry, hurry in life. I want to hurry to do ministry. I want to hurry to be man of God. Bible says, wait. That's how you run. When you wait, then you will run. Jesus Christ was waiting and praying and interacting with the Father. They took the boat and they started going. Six hours they were ahead of him. But they were not making any progress. That's how many people are doing ministry. They are doing ministry as if they call themselves. No proof, no sign, no witness. God doesn't confirm anything. They struggle to confirm everything. I oh, know, come on. There must be a supernatural dimension to your life. There must be a dimension men cannot explain. That's the proof that you are not alone. If you can explain everything about your ministry, you are doing it alone there must be a supernatural dimension. They shall run and not be. So all of a sudden, Jesus Christ stands up and starts walking on the water. This is Jesus walking on the water. Strength came upon him. And the disciples, he was about passing them. He said, Master, eh? Master, you can't pass us like this. You are seeing what we are going through. 
Jesus looked at them. They thought he was a ghost. And Peter said, I like this, your technology. So there is something like this and you left us struggling with the boat when we can walk. Brothers and sisters, drop moving in the boat and wait so that you can receive their feet to run. Are you getting me? Many of us are so slow in our lives. We are trying to hurry up and we are living the presence of God. And we believe that by living the presence of God, you will hurry up in life. You are joking. That's why a man can start a ministry. After 12 years, the man is alone as if God didn't send him. And they say, hey, anybody you see moving like that, forget it. Uh, something must have been done. Is that true? Learn this. If you don't learn anything, if you want to run in the spirit, wait. I want to hurry up and marry. He said, let's walk around. Is it not when they see us? Wait. Ah, you, you, think we, you think we don't know what you people discuss? Look, let me tell you. It's good to let people see you. Huh? But where was Ruth when God was fixing her destiny? Naomi was busy talking to her. She was waiting. When you find yourself running without a track record of waiting, one gentleman sent me a text and he said, man of God, I feel the call. How do I launch out? I replied to him, I said, forget about launching out. Settle down. You see, that's the language. Launch out. In other words, how do I take this thing? The fire that is burning my spirit, nobody knows. The fire of God, if not understood, you can misinterpret that fire to mean that it's a sign to run, whereas it's a sign to refine you. And not be weary. He said, and they shall walk. And the Bible tells us in Isaiah 43. That when you are walking, it means there's fire around you. When you walk through the fire. So when you are walking through what is killing others. You are standing tall. And people are saying, what technologies? Uh -uh. I waited until the fourth man arrived. So I'm not alone. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Rise up on your feet. Come live in me all my life. Take over. Come breathe in me and I will points very quickly two prayer points hallelujah um, there's a family that that got to contact me I don't know if they are here that they, is it a sick person or a, a mad person or someone like that are they around please protocol find out if they are around then we'll just minister fast if they are not around hallelujah praise the Lord Two prayer points. Prayer point number one. Jeremiah 33 verse 3 says, Call on to me and I will answer. It says, I will show you. I will not just tell you. I will show you. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 1 and 2 says, I will stand upon my watch. I will set myself upon the tower to see what the Lord will say. You're going to say, Oh God let the revelation of the mysteries of the kingdom i'm tired of ignorance i'm tired of living my life anyhow open up the scrolls of the spirit and grant me access to revelation lift your voice and pray inside and outside we are praying now we are praying now. Leke te poraka tabalada bas. Mande ke prans ke la boko shoto lo baba baba baba. Sheka tabalako shoto balada It has been given unto you. Jesus Christ paid the price already. It has been given unto you to know the mysteries. 
the spiritual codes that govern dominion. Pray for the sake of your family, for the sake of many that you have been anointed to save. There are destinies tied to your life. Don't let them die. Pray. There is a mystery that you will know that will stop these spells, these yokes of darkness from your life. Open our eyes, oh God. Open our eyes. Pray. Grant me light. I hate fear. I cause fear. Reveal something to me that takes fear out of my life. Reveal something to me that takes insecurity out of my life. Reveal something to me that stops competition in my life. Let me stand on a solid rock. Koinonia, pray. Open our eyes to the mysteries of the kingdom. Open our eyes to the operations of spiritual laws. Hallelujah. 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 Prayer point number two. You are going to pray whether you fasted or not. You are all in the corporate atmosphere. You are going to pray and say, Lord, every band of wickedness over my life, please hear me, over my family, over my loved ones, I stand tonight as an ambassador and I declare that enough is enough. Those bands be broken now. Lift your voice and pray. Come on, lose those bands over my family. I declare I come with the rod of a higher priesthood. I confront witchcraft, the system of evil, the system of death. I challenge you as an ambassador. Thus far as you come, no further shall you go. Pray, pray. Your prayer will prevail. Your prayer will prevail. We confront delay. We confront delay. We confront poverty. We confront late marriage. We confront barrenness. We confront terminal diseases. Confront witchcraft, spells, yokes, enchantments, divinations that are carried out in heavenly places. Manda katabosa, reketete bosh, stargazing, necromancy. We challenge those powers. We challenge them. We come as ambassadors, sons of light. Sons of grace, sons of power. Shake it up, 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 up. Go, 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 break it, Ivana. Oh, we challenge them. We 
challenge them. We challenge covens. We challenge spells. We will not be silent. The King of Glory steps into our families. The King of Glory steps into your academics. Enough is enough. Pray like a priest. Pray like a priest. I tear down the curtains of wickedness. I tear down the bands of evil. Challenge the spirit of death. Challenge failure. Challenge delay. Pray. Something is happening in the spirit. Pray for your ministry. Pray for your job. We tear down spiritual walls, limitations. Be broken. Yokes. Be broken. The spirit of the Lord God is upon us hallelujah hallelujah just give me five minutes and god is going to do something right in this place the devil must let you go Oh, he must let you go. Victory is imminent. Man must know that your God is alive. minutes and we're done something must break open in your life tonight hallelujah listen 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 the Bible says resist the devil and he will flee hallelujah he must flee must flee I tell you our families must testify that Jesus is alive and we are tearing down limitations lift your hands there are families that have been limited in many ways we are going to shout that name Jesus once I saw this many times as I pray today as you shout that name the sword from heaven will descend upon certain people and there will be a tearing apart I tell you, a tearing apart. I already sense the anointing of the Spirit. Lift your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, 
every family represented here inside and outside that have been facing any kind of limitation i judge that power and i declare that as they shout this name let it rattle the foundations of witchcraft and sorcery in the mighty name of jesus are you ready now man take up one two my god three I cost those altars. I cost those altars. I cost those altars. I cost those altars. Inside, outside. I cost them. I cost them. I set them on fire. Make go potos. Make it take a bar. I come with an apostolic rock. In the name of Jesus. I invoke the powers of heaven to fight this spirit. I invoke the powers of heaven. I take a lambatesh. Naked to take a posa. I release you. I release you. I release you. I release you. I release your family. I release your family. Now I release your family from witchcraft I release you from delay I release you from limitation I release you lift your hands again hallelujah now lift your hands I see at least 12 families hear me the Lord is bringing restoration hear me restoration as I begin to speak God will locate those families exact families right now Lord let your power those families for restoration in the name of Jesus let the angel of restoration move inside and outside let the angel of restoration in the mighty name of Jesus sevenfold 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 I decree it I declare it sevenfold hallelujah Hallelujah. The Lord wants to break academic bondage. Lift your hands. This suffering is over. Lift your hands. Hear me. You're going to shout that name Jesus again. When you shout it, there are many of us. I'm seeing chains. This is how it will lead you in a shocking way. Are you ready now? Father, everyone here under any spell and bondage of academics in the mighty name of Jesus we bring that situation under judgment one two three go 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 I judge that power I judge that power I judge that power Hallelujah. We'll soon be rounding up. I see a lot of packages that are supposed to have come upon many people. Listen to me. But I see them hanging in the spirit. So many. For many of us, you have seen it in visions. You know it has been released. Man, Tata, as I speak now, as I speak, as I speak now, as I speak now, there is a release is is coming on people right now, right now, right now. I open the heavens. Let it come. Let it come. Let it come. Let it come now. 
no matter how long it has stayed in the spirit i command it i command it i command it i command it no matter how long if i be a servant of god i invoke it let it come now let it come now let it come now if i be an apostle of the lord jesus christ i invoke it let it come now let it come now joblessness barrenness delay stagnation mental blockage sicknesses you name it we now know the devil that is in charge but the bible says for this purpose god organized koinonia meeting tonight for this purpose that he will annihilate i vowed unto god i said i will never pastor or lead any ministry where there is no demonstration of the superiority of light over darkness i won't come and teach people about the god who was and say i remember in 2001 somebody was healed what is he doing today jesus christ the same yesterday the same january miracle service the same february miracle service i bring you good news tonight the lord is in the house walk around in the next five minutes and begin to prophesy inside and outside come on come on walk around and begin to declare satan is behind every sickness every infirmity satan is behind poverty he's behind delays but today by the finished work that is in the name of the lord jesus there will be victory tonight Rapa kata la basata, ma prakata pragedeba, rapata prakese pragede, rakata baladaba. Make sure you're praying. Rapo sho prakete lekoto. Hallelujah. Now listen, those of you inside and outside, we just have one minute to pray. I like you to pray like a priest. You're going to say, you're going to pray for yourself and your family, and say, Satan. Now I know you are responsible and you are going to get out of my life, my family, my finance, my marriage. Lift your voice and begin to pray. You appear as terminal disease, but you are a devil of darkness. You appear as delay, but you are a devil of darkness. You appear as worriness, but you are a devil of darkness. Joblessness. Whatever tree has not been planted by our Father, that tree will be uprooted. Pray. Say tonight is my night of deliverance. It's my night of healing. It's my night of emancipation. Enough is enough. Hallelujah. Now look up, please. Everyone look up. So, through territorial influences, Satan can gain grounds over a man's life, although he's born again. The second way Satan gets to influence people is through what I call strongholds of the mind. That's why the Bible says the moment you get born again, the next assignment is to begin to renew your mind because look at me your mindset is like a door in the realm of the spirit it can allow the activities of heaven it can allow the activities of demons are you listening to me so because of wrong teachings or our society we have had mindsets that have become strongholds permanent gateways so even when you pray and minister healing and deliverance what happens the bible says when a demon leaves a man because it is now it does not have a material body to find expression it becomes uneasy after a while what happens it says since i've been legally casted let me now use the mind and it comes back to check the man he finds the house swept clean but empty 
you have not filled yourself with the word and it gathers seven other demons more than itself and it comes back to the man listen this is the problem i have with many deliverance houses they don't concentrate on people getting born again they don't concentrate on people receiving the word they just concentrate on casting out devils so they now cast out devils are you listening to me in a lady who probably does not believe that sex before marriage is wrong that's a mindset it has become a stronghold is that correct so the demons will leave but her mindset will bring them back listen when believers are set free they must keep their healing they must keep their breakthrough by doing what building fortification that's why we spend three weeks teaching the word so that when you are set free when you are delivered what happened the word of God builds fortification in you. That kind of mindset deliverance is by the word. So he sends forth his word. And his word heals your mind and delivers you. It's not enough just to come for miracle service. It's important to participate in all of the services. Because as we teach what happens, you build fortification in the spirit. Then you get to a point like Jesus where Satan will come and will not find anything of yourself. Then you now become a deliverer to others. He said, upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance and holiness. And the children of Jacob shall possess their possession. But not until there is a deliverance. Upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance and a spirit of holiness. And then what happens? People will begin to possess their possessions. Tonight, Satan will return some things he stole. Ah, because the Bible says, when you catch a thief, it's in Leviticus, when you catch a thief, he will say, I'm sorry. No, they didn't hear, I'm sorry. He will restore sevenfold. Sevenfold is the minimum. Hallelujah. How many of us are ready to take back some things? I'm reaping the harvest God promised me. Take back what the devil stole from me. And I rejoice today. For I shall recover it all. Yes, I rejoice today. Hallelujah. Now, before I begin to minister in the anointing, we're going to pray one prayer. I want you to be honest and open tonight. Listen, listen, we're a family. I truly prayed and cried and wanted you to be free. Listen, you're going to say, Lord, if there is any force of darkness at work in my mind or my life, listen, or my family, I open myself tonight. Let tonight be a separation between me and Egypt forever. I must move forward. You must humble yourself and pray. Are you listening to me? Open your mouth and pray. Everyone. Papa Ladabas, those outside, pray. The Holy Ghost is everywhere. Paparata parataya. Time up, Satan, over the lives and the destinies of people. We announce an expiry date for you, which is right now. Tonight is Good Friday. Over our lives, Jesus said it is finished. We believe it. Jesus said it is finished. Oh, hallelujah, he's really. I'm excited, I'm excited. Someone is walking free tonight. I tell you, a door is open tonight. Pray! Pray! Yes! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! There's a shout of the king in this house. Come on, help me. You don't know this song. There's a great anointing working. For the spirit of the Lord is king. Spirit have your way in us. In us today. Spirit, spirit take control. As we change. As we change. Spirit, I don't feel it. 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 Spirit
Aleluya. Aleluya. Ha ba ba la kataya. Now I see the angels of the living God. Please, everybody stand. Everybody stand. And when Jesus saw. Oh yes. Oh yes. Gates will be lifted. Ancient doors. Inside and outside. Let your faith reach out now. Let your faith reach out now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now listen. We are going to shout. Just a shout. Listen. Just a shout once. My God. Kabata Kaya. Kapra Dele Kaya. Embrozata Prata Dadaba. Rakata Pro Satali Bariata. De Kaya Kabam Bras Taya. I want all the people out. Ushers, please be effective. Listen. Just one shout. I like you to shout it with all your heart. I tell you the truth, devils will be shaken from their foundation. Are you listening to me? No power of darkness will stand the fire power that is in the name of Jesus. Are you ready now? All the instruments together in the Hebrew, we call this Tehillah. It's a shout of praise. Are you ready to shout? After the count of three, one, two, three. inside and outside now according to the unction and he gave us power i speak to you inside outside territorial spirit i confront you at the count of three you will go you will go i see a mighty deliverance in this row one two three go 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 Go, 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 go,
Bring them out. No devil stands. Bring them out. Outside. All of you lift your hands. For there will be a move of the spirit outside. 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 In the name of the Lord Jesus. Every power afflicting any life outside by the fire of the Lord be exposed now, be exposed now, be exposed. The fire of the Lord outside, the fire of His presence be exposed outside. The Porta Ricate, no demon stands. Every affliction go outside, outside, outside. The power of God is falling. Outside, the power of God is falling. I see angels, angels, angels move across the crowd. out of her out of her now in the name of jesus fire upon you now in the name of jesus fire upon you fire upon you come out of her now in the name of the lord jesus let her go 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 out of her right now out of her out of her come out come out of her come out of her out of her come out of her now thou foul devil I see a snake out of her come out fire upon you fire upon you fire upon you fire upon you come out of her affect my life Come out, come out, come out, come out. Kabara tapa kata. Peke te peke te peke te bele deba. Rekoto peke te bele deba.
those outside listen the power of god is strong outside no devil against your life come out come out come out come out of her come out now take her inside come out of her in the name of jesus listen your destiny must open up are you listening to me i said your destiny must open up therefore every power i speak by an apostolic unction every demonic force you're going to shout jesus once and the power of god will move across my god let your fire move are you ready those outside one two three come out 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 of her! Come out of her now! Come out of her! Come out of her! Come out of her! Come out! Come out! Come out! Come out in the name of Jesus! Out of her! Bring them in! Bring them in! Bring this girl. Bring that lady. Bring her, bring her. Just look, look at me. Bring her. Come out of her. Out, out, out. Come out now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Out. Come out of her. In the name of Jesus. Bring that little girl. Look at it. Hold on. Look at a girl. Look at this girl. At this age. Look at this little girl. Bring her, please. Shall the captives be taken from the mighty? Come out of her. Out, out of her now. Out, out in the name of Jesus. I bring you the powers of the kingdom. Come out, you shall stay no longer in her life. Take your place, yeah. Take your place. Your time is up, thou foul devil. Out of her right now. Fire upon you. Come out right now. Come out right now. Out of her. Come out of her. Come out in the name of Jesus. Take your place. Take your place. Take your place. Fire all over this body. Leave her in the name of Jesus. Come out. Come out. Fire upon you now. Fire upon you now. Fire upon you now. Your time in this body is up. Please help me with water. The devil put something. Hold on. You will see this lady now and think what she has in her body is a growth. But it's not a Look at. Look at. I'm using this as an example to teach you something. Take what you have put in her life and go now. Go! In the name of Jesus. Out of her now. Out of her now. Out. Out in the name of Jesus. It's time for her destiny to go. Come out by the fiery power. Jesus is Lord over every walk of darkness. They know not, neither do they understand. Excuse me.
Lady, look at me. I command you to look at me right now. I'm not speaking to her, I'm speaking to the spirit. He's seeing me. Look at me right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that foul devil. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, by the fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, just lay your hands on her back. Lay your hands on her back. Now I command you, come and meet me here. Quickly, come and meet me here. In the name of Jesus, leave that place and come quickly. I'm speaking to that foul spirit. Get up right now and come. It's a time of salvation. In the name of Jesus. Since you will not come, hello, I bring you under the influence of the Holy Ghost. Now come here. Holy Ghost, bring her by yourself. Show the superiority of kingdom authority. Kapadia, the pro sosoba, rabate, liver, liver, liver. Nobody should hold her. Come by the power of the Holy Ghost. Many of you do not know how powerful the Holy Spirit is. You will come. Is an instruction in the realm of the Spirit. Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies come. Run right now. Get up and run and come here. By the power that is in the name of Jesus Christ. No devil stops it. Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies I said come and meet me here don't stay there it's time for the lady to go someone has someone has a problem one ear you feel like there's water you practically cannot hear very well with it who is that person who is that person? One ear, you feel like there's water or something. Please, who is that inside or outside? Hurry up, come quickly. You, which of them? It will be open right now. Put your hands there. As I command that deaf and dumb spirit to go. In the name of Jesus, let her go now. Go! Be healed. Mama, salvation has come for you right now. Which of the ears? This one, put your hands there. That devil is a liar. No, just put a finger inside. Go! Go! Come out! Come out of her! Come out of her right now. You are a deaf and dumb spirit. In the name of Jesus, let her go. Go! Go! I set you free. Check it. Check it. Someone check her. What do you feel? No, no, really. I'm free. Look at. My water there again. Look at. Instant miracle. Come. What happened, Mama? What? Look at me. What used to happen before? I'm not. Uh, before I used to feel as if there is water inside. Sometimes I'll be hearing something. Uh, Waka inside. But now, not. Look at this. And Jesus casted the devil and the dumb spirit. This is Acts of the Apostles. The Bible says Jesus is the same. Yes. This is an elderly woman. She can't come and stand before you and be telling lies. Madam, you are free forever. What's wrong with her? Both ears? She had moms. So it affected she had her what? moms on her left ears. Moms. So it affected Bonds. both. Can she, she can't hear me now. She can't hear the two ears. Put your hands in her ears. Jesus, our deaf and dumb spirit, I curse you over this girl. I curse you over this life right now. Of the Lord Jesus, your reign 
is gone in the name of Jesus. Someone test her. There's someone. Come, sister, you. Yes, come. I'm seeing something wrong with your stomach. Lay your hands there. Look at me. Look at me. He will be free right now. Hmm? I bring you life. I bring you healing and perfection in the name of Jesus. Now, all those with any heart conditions, all those with any heart conditions, heart condition of whatever kind, please come out quickly. Just leave these people in front here. Just leave them. Just shift this poop in the bit and heart condition. Okay. Your ear. Both of them. Both ears. Look at me. Ah, the power of God is going to you. Come out of him now. Thou foul devil. I open your ears. Check him. Check him. Do what you couldn't do. Check him. Please let the ministers do it. Heart problem. Heart problem. Please. Can you shift this? I'm not afraid. Can you just step up here, all of you? Please, quickly, quickly. I don't want you to step. Heart problems. I'm feeling pains here. Look up, look up, please. Who has pains here? Is this my right or left? This left. Someone is having a sharp pain because I'm having the same pain here. Come. Hold on, hold on. I'll pray for you. And heart problem. What of your waist? That pains you. You didn't come out for it, but you will go. Leave her now. Come out of her. Come out now in the name of Jesus Christ. Pack your load. Say it and pack your load. You remember that song? You Buddhists sing it. All right, let's not sing it. Spirit, I will sing Janet's songs. Out of her. In the name of Jesus Christ. Bakapara Bakatafratakalaya. Mambro Soprete Baria. I represent the government of heaven and I bring you the life of that government. Go, go, go in the name of Jesus Christ. Go, go, go. Check yourself now. Check yourself. It's gone. Please help me with the mic. Completely gone. What used to happen? Hold on. What used to happen to you? You used to feel pains. Yes, when I came in. When you came in, you were feeling pains. You see that? The enemy has done this. You are free forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Come, my brother. What is this pain that I see here? What happened? I said, what happened? But the pain just started yesterday. But you are not serious with God now. You see, the pain will keep coming. Eh? You are not even born again. When I make altar call, before I, I finish, just run and come and wait here. Eh? But for now, Jesus will heal you because he's a God of love. You believe that? Out of him now. Come out in the name of Jesus. A foul devil. Let him go. In the name of Jesus. Go, go. Out. Come out of him. Come. My sister. Who is Necker? Who do you know called Neka? I'm hearing a name Neka. Hallelujah. What's wrong with you? Your heart. What happens? It used to pain me. Used to pain you. What do you mean it used to pain you? Just like how sharp pain on me. Sharp pain? Yes. How long? Is your Probably. sister? Okay, lay your hands there. For like three months now. Okay, look at me. Open your eyes. Just look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. Out of her, devil of darkness. 
You are free. Sister, sister, just look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. For light cannot stand darkness. You are a foul spirit. I've seen you in the spirit. Out of her now. Come out of her in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, my dear, you are free in the name of Jesus Christ. Please, as I pray for you, go back to your seat quickly. No, 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 no. How can you go? I'm not done in the name of Jesus Christ. Put your hands on her stomach. All right, go. Go! You see something for me like a growth. You must go. They call it a growth. The life that sponsors this growth, you will go right now. With a loud shout. That's what the Lord tells me. You will go with a loud shout. Now! Come. She's free. Bless you. Madam, what's wrong with you? My two brothers. Your two brothers? Uh, they, where are they? They're in the village. What's wrong with them? They don't hear well. They are stubborn or they don't no. hear well? They are ears. Okay, they are ears. Yes. Can we agree for them? Yes. What's their name? Tony and Ima. Tony and Ima. In the name of Jesus, for ah, you two, you need help now, madam. Let's start with you first. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. Please put your hands on your stomach. Let that pain go. And then for your two brothers, the Lord perfects them. In the name of Jesus Christ. When I lay hands on you, you will be healed. Don't worry. It doesn't mean I have to cast out a demon. See, manifestation is not a sign that demons are in you or they are going out. Faith in the word of God is. Brother, you are not very fine, no, Mr. Man. In Jesus' name. The ministers are going to come up and we'll start ministering to people in mass. What's wrong? Steal the heart. Go! Come out of him. Come out of him right now. Out of him. Out! In the name of Jesus. What's wrong with you? Take him outside. He's going to cough something. Quickly. No coughing inside corner of the auditorium. Please take him outside quickly. He will go by the influence of the spirit. So he's going to run. Hold him. He's going to run by the influence of the spirit. Okay, I'll pray for you. Huh? Jesus' name. That pain leaves you forever. In Jesus' name. Sister, come. What's your name? Jane. Jane. Where are you from? My state of origin, Benue. Because the same way you are dressed, that's the same way I'm seeing you in the spirit, but the only thing is your face is covered. Are you listening to me? But the Lord will set you free. What did you come for? I used to have a heart problem each time I have anything in my mind. What of the movements around your body? Something is moving around your body. I affect my life, freedom. Free. 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 You can't hide in her. Come out in the name of Jesus. And set this lady free. You're free. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. What's wrong with you? Anytime I get angry. Anytime you get angry. You know what's wrong with you? But you want God to help you, right? See, this lady is so desirous of help because I see the spirit of anger 
you can carry bottle and kill somebody with it. Is that true? You want to be set free from it? Look at my eyes. I've seen you now in the spirit. Come out. Out of her. Come out of her right now. Foul spirit of wickedness. In the name of Jesus. This is a very nice girl. Look. This is a very nice girl. But when that spirit comes, she can break this bottle and tear your head with it. You must go. I'm seeing a snake. This is the spirit of lust. Come out. Leave her alone. Just leave her. Come out. I see that spirit. It's a snake. This is what I'm seeing. You must leave her right now. Out of her. Out of her. See, you don't need to think about Satan. You just need to get him out of the way and build your life with the word of God. I set you free. Right now, no more anger. Look at me. You are not free yet. Just look at my eyes. In Jesus' name, you are free. Leave her. You are free. She is free. My dear, no more anger. You will serve the Lord all your days. Okay, God bless you. Heart. In the name of Jesus, be healed. Be healed right now of that heart problem. You must leave. You've tormented this girl for a long time. Out of her right now. In Jesus' name. You must go out. Come out. Your exodus out of her life. With a loud shout, I instruct you to leave now. At the count of three. One, two, three. Now, now, now. Out. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. I set you free. Set you free. Call for altar call before I finish. Just run and come and stand. Huh? 
you, you know what I'm saying, right? It makes sense to you. Huh? You're not gone. You must go. I see you in the spirit. Go! Come out of her. Be silent. Speak no word. Go out. What did you put in her stomach? Take it and go out. Take it. Remove what you put in her stomach. I see it now. Remove what you put in her stomach and go out. I said remove it. Take it out now. Foul devil of darkness. Jesus set you free. You're free now. In Jesus' name. Levi. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. I said, look at my eyes. This is the instruction. I see like claws holding this lady. Now, go. In peace. And I mean it. Take it away and go. Set her free right now. Jesus' name. Stand up. Don't feel embarrassed. Don't worry. Don't worry. Just stand up. My brother, like I said, what do you say is wrong with you? You have all these things now. When you are doing all the things you are doing, you know what I'm saying, right? Does it make sense to you? Abba. Nka shower, nka shower. Your body will not leave you now. This is your problem. You know what I'm saying, right? Ever since before you started the war, who led you into taking it? Tell me the truth. You can't hide it. I've seen it. I mean, myself. You started by yourself. Yes. Since when? Since 1998. The Lord sets you free. Break you free from that addiction. When I make the altar call, just run and come. God will give you a new beginning and you will be a great man. What? Hepatitis. Hepatitis. Yes, sir. B. C. 
See? Yes, sir. Who diagnosed it? In the hospital. You'll be free from it. Amen. You believe that? Yes, sir. You believe that? Yes, sir. Free. Jesus. Come, it's your time to go out. Oh yeah. Zerkin Salama. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. No, you don't need to force her. This is authority. I'm not speaking by myself. So I can't use my strength. Once you use your strength, the strength of God is of no effect. This is God speaking. Look at my eyes. Quick, look at my eyes. Salama. Salama. Very pretty lady, wonderful lady. They shall lay hands. Now you must leave. I bring you the authority of Jesus. Go. Go now. At the count of three, quietly let her go. You're hearing me. One. This is Good Friday. Two. <laughs> Three. Or I go. Quietly. Quietly. You must leave. I've given the command. I've given the command. You will go. Out. Out you go. That's it. Bye bye. Find someone else somewhere. No, it's going. It's going. There's no stopping. The word has been spoken. Sister, come. No, this lady with blue will be green. That's it. Leave her. She's free. Oh, no, no, no. Hold on. This is a terrible spirit. Hold on. It doesn't leave until she's turned with her back. This is crazy. Whatever this means. All right, turn your back and go. Say terrible thing. Back. Whatever that means. I'm not a herbalist for God's sake. You heard me. Turn your back now and leave. He cannot leave until she's on her back. I said, turn your back and go out now. You are a foul spirit. No, don't worry. Don't worry. Just leave her. Just leave her. Turn your back. You will lie on your back and it will go. That's right. Is bringing everything when she lies on her back, is going quietly. I don't understand some of these things, we are still learning. So, you lie and go. There's an angel standing close to her, that's why I told you people don't bother. Now, we're going to minister, we'll have to hurry up. If you brought somebody who is sick. Please come out here quickly. The ministers are going to lay hands upon you, but bring this lady for me. All right, your time is up. Go. That's it. She's free. Stand up. Stand up. Please, can I have the water again? My sister, come. Well done. You will live your life serving the Lord. Look at me. Look at me. Where else did you put this kind of thing? Look at me. Look at me. Where else do you have this kind of thing? This is what attracts the wrong men to you. You don't even know. My 
All right, that's all. Go. My dear, look at me. Touch my hands. Just touch my hands. You know what you are seeing. I'm speaking to the spirit, not you. I'm speaking to the spirit. Touch my hands. Go ahead, touch my hands. The hands of Jesus. I bring you life. You may leave her now. Upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance. With a loud shout, you are going. This is what the Lord. Go. In Jesus' name. For how can you walk when you don't know the way of the way? How can you? When you don't know the way of the Spirit, how can you fly like eagles when you don't know the way? Are these the only sick people? Please, every other sick person, come and join them quickly. While that is happening, pass your prayer request quickly. Outside, please pass it to the last person at the side. Let's do that quickly. All the sick people, please come quickly. Swallow your pride tonight. Come to the school of the sleep. Please come and lie down. Sass, Jake, Sass. Quickly, please come and stand here. Get said to be healed. This is not trial and error. While that is happening, everyone, please pass your, your prayer points. Swallow your pride. Listen, as hands come upon you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will be perfected. Pastor, sir. Hallelujah. Now, we'll start praying for you. Whatever the case is, I've waited for when I'll pray for you. Come and stand. You, come. It's time for your salvation. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Deliver now. Go. You're free. Next. Please quickly. Whatever is wrong with you. As hands are laid upon you. That's it. Be healed. Be healed. Every sickness. Peptic ulcer. Who is the person? Peptic ulcer. Peptic ulcer. Come. Be set free from anything. Anything wrong with you. Come out. Leave her. Go. Go. Set her free right now. Go. Go. You're a foul spirit. I've seen you. Go. What's wrong with her? Okay. Fire upon you right now. Quietly go. Lepticals are you come. Come out of her. Come out now. You have caused a lot of delay in her life. This is out. Out. You're a wicked spirit. Come out. I've seen you. Out. You said she will not marry, she wouldn't do anything. It's, it's a time of deliverance. Out of her. Come out now. Come out now. I set you free. I open doors of blessings to your life. Please, quickly. What's wrong with them? Yahweh.
Come out of her. Out. Come, 
Your salvation has come. It's your time to smile. Run and come. I say, run. Look at what she's doing. No, you are not done. No, he will still pray for you. Come, my dear. Look at you. Look at me. See, for the Lord says, I should tell you not only doors of marriages, but doors of restoration and prosperity. You have cried. This lady loves the Lord, but she has suffered. You have seen, you have suffered. Aha. I'm seeing a cake, and it's a wedding cake. This is what the Lord shows me. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I release you in Jesus. Where's the lady? I asked her to come. Where's the lady? Sister, look at me. Start rejoicing because of the good. No, I didn't say dance here. The good things that will happen in your life will be surprised. Look at me because you have suffered. God brought you here to bless you. If I were you, I will find the person that invited me and take him out for lunch. Go! Go! It's a time. That's it. Step into your blessings in the name of Jesus. Come on, celebrate Jesus. Yes, Lord. You are the king. request please bring them out quickly if you didn't write those on facebook and all our members please if you cannot have it no problem hold on there are two ladies please don't be ashamed okay the lord asked me to call out the case don't be ashamed okay three people you are suffering from is a bedwetting issue. See, we're a family. Do we all agree we're a family? There's no need. There's no okay. You are suffering from this is a serious issue. Please come. This is a serious issue. There's no hiding, and this is uh, please. We are very serious. Because God will set you free. That's why we're a family of faith. There's no this is miracle service. This is not a conference. It's a miracle service. Hallelujah. Please take away her bag for a while. Sister, look at my eyes. Just look at me. Expose you foul spirit of darkness. Now, but wetting stops forever. It's a spirit. She has a dream. This is I'm seeing the dream that this lady has now. She has a dream. They are pouring water, and she's standing there. Later, the water becomes a bathroom, and she wakes up and sees. You will look and think she's an irresponsible lady. Some of you who will not keep your mouth in one place. You like talking about people. See, judge not. The spirit of Christ is the spirit of love. When you see your brother in a child, help the person. Don't be the one carrying your big mouth from left to right. When you yourself are not free. Hallelujah. Don't be judgmental and cynical. Let's, let's give our brethren room to find security. Koinonia is not a church. This is an apostolic center where God is setting people free. On Sunday, you can go to your church. This is not a church. It's not a prayer house. It's a place where Jesus dwells and is doing wonders. Sister, I set you free in the name of Jesus. Hold on, because I'm still going to pray for her. She came from just God is going to use her. All of you standing here, don't be afraid, don't be ashamed. God will set you free right now. 
God is helping you, but you need a kingdom mindset. Mindset. Look at me. Just look at my eyes. Foul devil. Go! Even the lawful captives, even the lawful captives, even the lawful captives, I'm speaking to you, even the lawful captives, even the lawful captives, aha, come out of her. Now I've seen you, come out of her. Foul spirit, fire upon this body right now from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are a wicked spirit. Go. In the name of Jesus. Now, see, out of her, what is this that you are putting in her stomach? You will remove it. Remove it now. I said remove it. I'm seeing it. I see something like a band. Remove it. Take it away. Remove it. Let everybody see. I said remove it now in the name of Jesus. Our foul devil. No. No. Just quietly come out. Honestly, don't disturb us in this place. Go out, please. Go out in Jesus' name right now. This thing happened to your father. This thing is happening to your loved ones. What is this around your waist? This is what I'm saying. Come out! You are a wicked spirit. Out! Spirit of lust. Aha! Out. Come out of her right now. You're a wicked spirit. Look at, look at this. Come out. What did Kaparakata Grento Satilaka Repatarita Rabata Batoso Pregete Recata Pariata by the fire power of the spirit? Many of you will find out that your spiritual life will take a new dimension. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Now you will begin to understand the word. But don't judge others. Because with this spiritual insight now, you will be looking at people and be seeing how oppressed people are. It should create love in you. The true spirit of Christ will reveal the character of Jesus. Are you listening to me? Hold my hands with both of your hands. As tight as you can. First bank had a song. He said, what is the song? Man pass man. Bank pass bank. Jesus pass demons. Is that not a good one? Compose your own. Now you must go. Out of her. Right now. In the name of Jesus. Even aside from standing in, I need to pray for you. Good usher, so you will feel. Come out of her, out of her in the name of Jesus Christ. Hold my hands, hold my hands. Look at your own hands shaking. What is this? Watch from today. Just look at it. This is demonic, this is nonsense. Huh? And I am come that he may have life. I pray that when some of you begin ministry, you will bring Jesus alive to the scene. You won't let men just doubt whether Jesus is Lord. What is happening to you? Spinning me. Jesus said, it is the thief that comes to steal to kill and to destroy. Please hang on because I'm going to prophesy. This is the best part of the session where I begin to speak to people. But first, let's play on this request. Sas, please can we come? All of you stretch your hands inside and outside. Please stretch your hands on your request.
look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. I have seen you in the spirit. Hapa, rata, rakata, parekete ke parata posoto, rabande ke parika, ratos ko petalia, regete ke te ke te ke de belereba, rapatos ko prenda, rapos ko par, reteke te ke telekete, rebako paratos ko pa, rapaskia. Fire upon you right now. 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 Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Out of her. Come out. She loves the Lord, but you will not oppress her. Come out. This this is what has been responded. Come out. Fire upon you right now. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. You must go. Oh yes, you must. Go, I've not finished with you. Go. 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 In the name of Jesus, I challenge you. I'm seeing an altar. I set it on fire. Kaparata. Rabete keterete. Rabaka paratapa. Babriata. I told you Satan likes bodies. They won't go. It takes the power of the spirit. Go, 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 go. Go. Please be praying on the request. Don't let's save time. Go. Go. In the name of Jesus. For with authority commanded he devils and he obeyed. At the count of three, your time of exit is come. This is Good Friday. One, two, three. Go. Jesus' name. Go. Go. In Jesus' name. With a loud shout, come out of her now. Come out of her now. Come out. Come out. In Jesus' name. She's free. Stand up. Where's the other lady that was here? There was a lady here, right? Sweetheart, it's okay. Please, when people stand up like this, show them love, help them. Don't just stand and be looking at them. Someone was standing here. Come, my dear. You are going to begin a journey with the Holy Spirit. God has set you free. I'm going to impart an anointing upon you. There's, there's still impartation coming in okay it's not all about deliverance there's you need grace all right you have finished with satan so you need to have something my dear god will do great things through your life you may look weak in yourself but when he overshadows you that which will be born of you will be called the holy thing hallelujah lift your hands look at me my god there is no man who is able to separate. The Bible says, when they all gathered in prayer and fasting, the Holy Ghost said unto them, separate me, Paul and Barnabas. Lord Jesus, place your hands upon her by yourself and separate her. I separate you right now to the dealings of the Spirit. I open you up to visions. I open you up to spiritual experiences. Receive the fire right now. Receive it right now. Thank you, Jesus. An angel is pouring oil upon you right now. This is what is happening to you. Upon your hands and your head and your chest. Let the oil come. Thank 
you, Jesus. Let's stretch our hands, everyone. Please stretch your hands. Go ahead and begin to pray now. Please, for your loved ones, say, Lord, I pray that you will not let me go to hell. Please, say, Lord, every request here, those outside, everywhere, stretch your hands towards this. Stretch your hands towards your screen. In the name of Jesus. Lord, miracles. Release miracles in the name of Jesus. name of Jesus. Lord, by your great power, thy enemies submitted. All the requests here and even those who are online, Father, by your power, by the power of your spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ, and answer prayer. Answer prayer. Let there be miracles. Let there be miracles. Miracles. Doors open. Miracle babies for our loved ones. Miracle marriages. Open door. Finances open. In the name of Jesus. Reconciliation to home that are broken. In the name of Jesus. Miracles. 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 Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Celebrate Jesus. Now, I want to pray for everybody right now. Please don't miss this part. This is where the Lord separates men unto great things. Many of you do not know the power of prophecy. It's not to say you are wearing this. Come. Look at my eyes. Look at me. Look at me. Just look at me. Look at me. Just look at me. I expose darkness. Go! In the name of Jesus. I truly want to pray for you from the depth of my heart. Don't miss this part. He sent forth his word. Whenever a prophetic word is about coming to your life, listen, this is where God picks men into miracles, be it financial, be it whatever. I don't do these things because I'm a man of God. I do these things as I am moved by the spirit. Whether you are inside or outside, even if no one can see you, I'd like you to lift your hands and where you need to shout amen, shout it! With all that you have. Lift your hands. Something will happen in this place right now. For he never sends us alone. He leaves us a witness. Jesus. I want to impart gifts. Anointings. Graces. Help me instrumentalists. At the count of three, I'll begin to release them in mass, everywhere, inside and outside. It's time for you to step up spiritually. I come in the name of the Lord. Lift your hands. Father, confirm your word. No, you don't need to bring them out. You don't need to bring them out now. This is impartation. In the name of Jesus, lift your hands now. Come on, babaratata. Shout Jesus just once. One to go. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take the fire. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. I release gifts. Gifts of prophecy. Gifts of healing. Receive it. Take it, take it, take it, take it. I activate your spirit man. I activate your sense. Share in the spirit. See in the spirit. Perceive. Spiritual things. 
Rabarata, Rababa, Roposa, Regea, Reposata, Rabaria, Paros, Corecata, Mabreto, Sodia, Rendecate, Legate. Receive it, receive it, receive it, take it, take it. Now the fire of the Holy Ghost is coming. Listen, just leave them, just leave them. It's not a crime for them to drop a seat. Just do it. Listen, the fire of God is going to mantle some of you. And this will take you to a new level of Christian experience. Not everybody. Lift your hands. For some hungry people, oh God. I see cloven tongues of fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, thou power of the Holy Ghost, move, move, move. Fire, fire, let it come like rain. Prophetic experiences. Take it. Outside. Take it. Take it. Hallelujah. I want to pray for favor. Favor. Oh, how we need it. Favor. It will come strong on some people. I tell you, it will hit some of you in a way that you cannot recover from. My Lord, in the name of Jesus, favor anointing, fall, 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 Favor, favor, favor. Let it hit you. Let it hit you like tornado where you are, like a fireboat. Aparata kaba, vaka brata rata. Take 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 I want to prophesy breakthrough. 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 Many of you don't know what breakthrough is. Brother, come. God will do mighty things with you. Lift your hands. God, use him mightily. Take it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You will not be the same again. Lift your hands. The breakthrough anointing. Haya. The Lord is showing me doors. Kenneth, the breakthrough anointing is coming on you. Take it now in the name of Jesus. Lift your hands. I like you to shout, I receive just once. It will hit some of you. Shout, I receive just once. One to go. Take it. Take it. Take it, take it, the breakthrough anointing. I command doors be open. Doors be open. Miracle jobs, marriages, barren women receive, barren women receive all kinds of breakthrough. I pray for your finances within the next 30 days many of you don't know what the anointing of the spirit I'm not ministering as Joshua Selman don't be foolish within the next 30 days Lord confirm your word if you have sent me let the fire come listen this is what I'm doing I pick you from where you are financially I place you in a prophetic position. Take it. Take it. Take it. 
Take it. Take it. Take it for your families. Miracle calls. Miracle connections. Miracle connection. Miracle call. Miracle connection. Miracle calls. Miracle connections. Miracle calls. family under any yoke of bondage I don't care what it is from this night I set you free in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus any building project that your parents are in in the name of Jesus within the next seven days let the finance to continue it I put it prophetically upon your hands in the name of Jesus. Blessed Jesus. Thank you. For you and for your loved ones who need jobs, I call April a month where you will experience turn around. The Bible says, and Abraham was old and stricken in age, and the Lord had blessed him in all things. I prophesy that anointing all round. For your academics receive grace. For your academics receive grace. Grace to be the best. Grace to excel. You are not dull. I call you brilliant. I call you blessed. I call you blessed. I speak to your exams. I speak to your papers. I speak to last semester's result. I call it excellence. Distinction. Where you made mistakes, we correct it in the realm of the spirit. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood upon your papers. Let it speak better than the blood of Abel. For final year students, we graduate you in this place right now. Believe me, believe, believe. Don't be doubters. I know you have challenges. I'm not speaking as a man. For as many who can believe, we release you in the name of Jesus. Let policies change in your department. Let them change in your faculty. Every satanic molestation over your life, over your dreams, in the name of Jesus. I put a seal of the blood because Christ died. No devil can access your life again. In the name of Jesus. I command you increase. Multiply. Advance. Move forward. I break you free from habits. Any habit you have been struggling with. Any habit. The Bible says every tree that has not been planted by our Father shall be uprooted. I uproot it tonight. The Lord still tells me prophesy on their finances. Listen. 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 We are rounding up. I don't do this all the time. But please everybody, package a seed. I want to pray for your finance. If you don't believe it, just leave it. Just package a seed. I want to do something that will shake your finances. Please. Who needs one person? Please. This is not about money. You know us here in this place. Package a seed. I want to. Please package something that will touch you. We don't teach you error here, brothers and sisters. This is not about money. We're a blessed ministry. Please do it for yourself, some of you, for your family. Just package something that will cost you and lift it up. This is not some spiritual jamboree. You will watch what will happen. Lift it up, please. Lift it up. Honestly, from your heart. If you don't believe what I'm doing, please put back your seed. Just lift it up, inside and outside. Please, if you can help your neighbor, it will be the best thing you would have done. If you can help your neighbor. Don't make foolish decisions, please. Your common sense is still with you. But I'd like you to do something that will, will challenge poverty in your life. Please just play the strings for me. Many of you do not know. 
we don't neglect spiritual principles we only put them in place honestly honestly hear me if god is god and we are serving him truly something will happen to your finances that will surprise you some of you are standing in for your families you just hold on and see i have tried this thing it has worked lift it many of you as you are holding it you will see what will happen to you before you drop lift it up jesus i didn't call myself oh lord you called me to bless your people to lift your please lift it <laughs> for yourself and family hold just hold it just hold it just keep it hold. keep it some of you are under financial curses for your family just keep it up that's what i want to break a sacrifice brought that cause let a sacrifice take it out go 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 i break the curse go 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 lift it up go go i break the curse go it's a curse it's a curse upon individuals and families lift it up make sure you package something that will touch you i break it it took sacrifice to bring the curse lord we lift this sacrifice like that of abel i terminate poverty you are a spirit go i create a sound of abundance in the spirit I give your seed a voice in the realm of the spirit I speak against altars of darkness that keep families in bondage go go I set them on fire hallelujah father these hands that are lifted please even if you don't have a seed just lay your hands on someone's hand who has a seed and lift it father as a house in koinonia lord you cannot give me people to lead and you are blessing us as a house and it's not showing in their lives let everyone who identifies with this ministry i prophesy the same oil of inexplainable but undeniable prosperity I release it upon your life right now I release it upon your life right now creativity beyond your imagination visions of ideas destiny help us for your family members those who need jobs take jobs those who need business ideas receive it those whose business are dying I resurrect it back I put the life of God into it. Let the dry bones come alive. I speak to this seed. Lord, this will not be the last seed they will give. But may this be the least you will give. Because of the degree of abundance. Ushers, quickly. Yeah. I wish many of you can see what is happening in the realm of the spirit. All our services are powerful. It's just that the miracle service is a special service. Quickly, quickly. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your presence. We're soon rounding up. Just hold on. Do you know part of the reasons why? Hold on. Part of the reasons why people don't wait except they have something serious do you know part of the major reasons why people don't wait for meetings like this is because of demonic activities they keep making them uncomfortable and they leave because of certain blessings listen not every man of god is out to destroy you god sends people to lift you i promise you you will never be the same hallelujah now it's not just enough to be prayed for to be healed to be released you must grow in the world i can't tell you this enough there are many of you who only come for miracle services because you want you won't grow that way you must be taught the word subject yourself to the teaching of the word the bible says i commend you to the word of his grace which is able to 
keep you and to give you an inheritance. He said, according as his divine power had given us all things that pertains unto life and godliness. How? Through the knowledge of him who has called us into glory and virtue. The next verse says, Wherefore has he given us these exceedingly great and precious promises, that by them we might become the partakers of his divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in this world through lust. Subject yourself to the word. You must be taught the word. You must grow. There's no shortcut to greatness. There's no shortcut to the anointing and to the presence of God. Everyone, please stand up. Right now, I'm inviting those who I don't need to do any special cajoling. All those people that I told them it's time to get born again. Now it's your time to run out and come out here. Everyone who wants to give his life to Jesus Christ, or you have once given your heart to the Lord and you've run and this is stand, please. You are not coming to me. Hallelujah. Inside and outside, Jesus loves you. Now is the time of salvation. We do not condemn you. Leave your seat and come. If you've given your heart to the Lord and you found yourself derailing, no problem, just come. Outside. There are a number of you outside. God is calling you. Leave your friend. Come. Thank you, Jesus. Koinonia, celebrate them. This is the biggest miracle. Come. God bless you. Bless you, sister. Bless you, my brother. Don't stop. God bless you. You need Jesus. He's the fountain of life. He's the one we represent here. He's the one we exalt. There is only one name. Not any man of God. Not Bishop Stan. Not Pastor Jakes. Not Joshua Selman. Jesus and him alone. I sense that there are still some of you that are waiting behind. Jesus is calling you. Jesus is calling you. Thank you, sister. Thank you, sister. Hallelujah. Now look at me. All of you who have come here, God bless you. Thank you so much for coming. I want you to know that you will never be the same in Jesus' name. This is the greatest decision you will ever make in your life. Now lift your right hand high above your head and say this very, very loud. Say after me, Lord Jesus. It's not a poem. Say, Lord Jesus. I love you. I believe you died for me. I surrender my heart to you because I cannot help myself. Today, I make Jesus Lord of my life. I denounce sin and Satan. I declare that I'm born again. The life of God is in me. And Satan will go. Go! Was he praying? And what, what was I saying? And Satan will live my life forever. In the name of Jesus. Come out of her. She's making Jesus Lord of her life. You're a foul spirit. Out. Out. You're a wicked spirit. Go. This is, this is authentic born again. Authentic one that comes with a dramatic change. Many of you got born again. You were laughing from the beginning to the end. You don't even know what happened to you. This is what they call old time religion born again. The one that will leave a mark in your life, you won't forget. Unfortunately, those who talk about old time don't go far enough. They mean religious born again. Acts of the apostles. Holy Spirit, come and live in me. From today, I am yours. In the name of Jesus, I'm a child of God. I break free from addictions in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I appreciate them. Look at me, brothers and sisters. Thank you so much. This is the best decision you have ever made in your life to make Jesus Lord of your life. Now, I'd like you to just follow the ushers. They will lead you and then will follow you up and make sure you are grounded in the things of God. Never forget this day from today. You're going forward ever and backward never in Jesus' name. God bless you. Please appreciate them. Pastor Jakes is meeting with you tomorrow by, by 5 p.m. Chapel premises. Please, ushers, make sure you remind them. Tomorrow, 5 p.m. Hallelujah.
Now, if you're worshipping with us for the first time, inside and outside, we're out of time. Please, I'd like you to run and come out quickly. We want to bless you. Appreciate them. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Confidence is come out here. You'll be the first to receive the blessing. In the name of Jesus. Come out of her. She's a visitor, but you must leave. Don't go back the same way. Hallelujah. When we say we have a blessing, we're not joking. We really mean it. Come, quickly. Thank you for coming. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for coming. This is Koinonia. Today happens to be our miracle service. We meet here every Friday. Hallelujah. I assure you, you'll never be the same. The Lord will bless you and he will make you a wonder in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray that he will help you. I pray that his grace will be at work in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are going to pray for you. Whatever you came here with, whatever expectation, believe God and it will be done. Hallelujah. Saints of God, stretch your hands as we pray for them. Hello. Scriptures exalt us from the book of Proverbs. It says, my son, attend to my sins. Incline thine ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you up late and don't forget to like for us thank you because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us too Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.